Joe's on Weed Street for the 100th episode of Beer Money. Luke Stuckmeyer and Kelly Crawl for Beer Money All-Stars, the Tournament of Greatness. And this is going to be great. I mean, epic contestants here tonight. All the best we have, including the best personalities. Yes. Because that counts for a lot here. Throughout the show, we'd love for you to get interactive. Use the hashtag, hashtag Beer Money AS. Also, the show presented by Coors Light. A big thanks to them and to all those helping us at Joe's today. They were incredible. This crowd looks amazing. Yes. I cannot wow. believe how many of you guys came out. Thank you so much, and a big thank you to the contestants. We have people in the crowd dressed in costumes. I never thought I'd see it, but Robot. knowing that it's beer money, I should have expected it. Let's go through some of the rules for you quickly. This will not be exactly like normal beer money rules. Mm -hmm. It will be different this time around. First of all, if anybody yells something, you're gone. No helping your, your, your friends and family here. Let's start with what? A coin flip. Yes, a coin flip that will be taken care of. Manny over here, we will let the first contestant call heads or tails. From there, they can defer or they can take it, and off we go. Uh, there will be no time limit, but we'll be the judges on that. If we feel like it's yeah. going long, we'll start to count you down. But again, rally scoring here, so every question mm -hmm. is worth a point. Even if the other person gets one wrong, somebody's getting a point. So it's sort of like volleyball, rally scoring. And please, no phones when you come up to play. Those uh, will be confiscated. Let's get to the good stuff, the prizes. There is a great grand prize tonight. The winner of the tournament mm -hmm. will get $500 in cash when they leave Joe's on Wheat Street Woo! tonight, huh? 500 bones. You'll also get sweet tickets for you and three friends, so four sweet tickets to a game here in Chicago. And, mm -hmm. Kelly, we have one more great thing to hand out along with the cash and the sweet tickets. Were you alluding to the $100 gift card and swag bag that no, the wild no. card contestants are getting? Because they're getting some prizes, too. too. Everybody gets something. I'm talking about the killer oh, trophy. the hardware! Bragging rights for life if you win this tournament. If you lose... You're just leaving with what's left of your digni dignity and self-respect, and it might not be much. But first, before any sporting yeah. event, right. as we would have the national anthem. So we ask that you all please rise for the national anthem, which will be sang by former contestant Rachel, as though any of you could forget this pipes, the pipes of Rachel. Here we go. All right, Rach, take it Hello, away. Chicago. All -Stars. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's regular the bombs bursting and air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Are we ready for our first showdown? <laughs> we have brackets for each team, so we'll have a final four for the Cubs, White Sox, Bulls, and Blackhawks. We'll have a champion for each one. These first rounds, it's the first person to three, rally scoring. First person to three, rally scoring. And, of course, we will start with a coin flip in a second. Yes. But first, we want to meet our contestants, our first two from the Blackhawks division. Okay. 
Mark here is three and three during his times on Beer Money. And we'll never forget the name. Am I right, Mark? Peter Bondra. That's yeah. right. Yes, that was the one that got him. But he is from Chicago. And favorite quote, the past is told by those who win. Wow. Little premonition. Is that what I, maybe? I don't know. But the best part about this, you're getting ready to introduce. Yes. Yes. S Stephanie is a spectacular contestant. This is going to be a showdown. They've been on Twitter mm -hmm. before feuding. the show, a little feuding, a little talk, mm -hmm. a little trash talking going on. So we'll see what happens. Stephanie, <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie is a six-time winner on Beer Money. She has never lost. She's undefeated, and she, she comes all the way from Rockford to be in this tournament as a six-time champion. And this may not mean as much to you, but her nails... Good. are always looking good. You got them done there for the show? Are. That's what yeah. I thought. Usually in black hawk symbols and all that kind of stuff. So Great nails. Uh, her quote, favorite quote, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Helen Keller. Thank you very much, Stephanie. All right. So the deal is with the coin flip mark, we felt it only appropriate that the ladies go first. So Stephanie, you are going to call this in the air as Manny flips it, okay? Heads. Oh boy. Tails, so Mark gets the choice. Mark, you have the choice. Do you wanna start or do you wanna defer? Again, remember if this comes down to a showdown and it's even, you would get the last question if you go first. I'll take the ball. Oh, he's gonna take okay, the ball. Okay, Mark, right. we like it. Start them off, Kelly, here we go. Blackhawks questions for Mark. Every question is worth a point. First okay, one of three. Mark. Here we go. Besides Crawford, Forsberg, and Glass, who was the other goalie to appear in a game for the Blackhawks this season? Tick tock, Mark. Tick tock. Crawford, Forsberg, Glass. Colin Delia. Is that your final answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> it Judges is. are saying we're going to take okay. that as a final answer because he blurted it answer. out. And part of the reason I held my breath is I'm, I'm just so not used to you getting things wrong. Um, but that one is not right. <clears throat> Jean-Francois Berube was the ah, other Berube. to be between the pipes on December 6th at Washington. So the deal is, Stephanie, you are now up one nothing, and it is your turn. So a tough one. So Stephanie, you're up and a chance to take a commanding 2 nothing lead. Your Blackhawks question. Nick Schmaltz, Alex Dabrinkit, Vinny Hinestroza. Put them in order from youngest to oldest. Three young Blackhawks. Dabrinkit, Schmaltz, Hinestroza. That is correct. 20, 21, and 23 years old. So... Here we go. This is it. We have a chance for a winner right away. Mark is up against it, and he's got to get this one right. All right. Who is the last Blackhawks goaltender to win the Vezina Trophy? Ed Belfour. I thought he might have better luck with you, and that was right. He's right. He's right. Eddie okay. Belfour, 90-91, 92 93 So it is two to one. Stephanie, once again, match point. How good were you at spelling? Pretty good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the crowd knows where we're going with this, right? <laughs> Your name is Osterly. O-E-S-T-E-R-L-E. -E -E. I felt like we had a little bit of the spelling bee just then. Like I got nervous. <laughs> I was almost passed out like the kid in the spelling bee. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Seventy. You are correct. That's it. So Stephanie is moving on in our Blackhawks bracket. Our first winner, Jordan Osterley, was the winning answer. She spelled it correctly. Mark, thanks once again for coming out. We got some great prizes for you. Stephanie remains undefeated at 7 and 0. Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> thanks for coming. Oh, thank yeah. You. Here we go. Round two of the Blackhawks bracket. Our next semifinalist. 
JT and Rob. Are we ready for the introductions to these characters? JT, we will start with you, sir. Age before beauty, JT is 67 years young. A crowd favorite and a regular at Mitchell's Tap. He is a Mitchell's Tap in the house as well. He's a Blackhawks aficionado. JT, oh, what is, what's your favorite quote? Do you have one for us that's uh, PG-13? Yeah, I started with nothing and worked my way up to extreme poverty. Great, I love it, JT. He tells it like it is, this is perfect. <clears throat> you never envisioned yourself on this stage, did you, JT? Uh, the night no, I could barely get you to play Beer no, Money with us. No, you know what? Um, they came around the bar with a clipboard, and I was kind of reluctant, and I never did any, uh, I never never worked out the end. I didn't know what you guys were going to ask me, and it was kind of confusing, but uh, <laughs> I, had a good, I had a good time. I had a good time. You had, had a, a good, good time, time and yeah. we hope you have a lot more fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Let's hear it for JT one JT. more time, huh? All right, and he is going against Rob. Rob, welcome. Thank you. So the deal is Rob played our game that we called Six Pack at the time. He got five of the six right. He walked away with quite a bit of cash. Um, a regular at JL's Pizza and Sports Bar in Palatine. Oh, yeah. Palatine represented here tonight and lists his dad as his hero. So how about dad yeah, tonight? Right is he here? I was just going to ask. Dad's in the house. Wow, dad's here. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> JT might have just lost some fans. <laughs> no. <laughs> he laughs. No big deal. No, no big no deal. Big He's deal. got plenty. Plenty <laughs> to go around. Uh, this is exciting. Everybody ready for this? You guys a little bit nervous or you not? You saw how the first time around worked, I'm assuming, and are ready to go, huh? I was nervous after, after seeing that last round, so... <laughs> that girl scares the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if you get a chance to face off against her. Stephanie, She's you're intimidating. intimidating them all. All right, gentlemen, let's see what we got. And Rob, if it's okay with you, we feel like JT is, should should make the call tonight on the, on the coin toss. So, so Manny, take it away. JT, call it in the air. Tails. Let's flip it one more time. He flipped it a little late. JT again. Tails. He's going with tails. tails it is it tails. Is. JT. So it's up to you. Do you want to start, JT, or do you want to defer? Uh, I'll, I'll start. JT's going to go for it. All right, here we go, JT. Let's get this going. The right to play Stephanie if you move on. Artem Anisimov and Anthony Duclair were both originally drafted by which NHL team? Two Blackhawks, Anisimov and Duclair, originally drafted by which NHL team? This is where he reaches back into the memory bank. He stands here for a few minutes. I think my segment it's with called JT. It's called dementia. <laughs> <laughs> um, JT, I was never going to go there. <laughs> um, Artem Anisimov, Anthony Duclair. Both originally drafted by what team? Before they got to the Blackhawks. Before they got to the Blackhawks, they were drafted by this team. Maybe they started playing there. Okay. Maybe they were just drafted by this team. Do you know where Anisimov came from? That's the question. Was it the Rangers? Is that your final answer, JT? That's all I can think of. Well, that's, uh, for dementia, pretty impressive. There it is. One Rangers point. It is. Rangers. JT's Show us got some, like, Are you serious? Yeah. You got it right. Are you serious? And you they, won and they, and they wonder up. why I drink. Was that... <laughs> JT, was that just a guess? No, I was trying to think because I know the, the Russian name... You got a pretty good hint. Yeah. <laughs> we'll help you out. Hey, I'm from Boston. I'm not from Chicago. It's different. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> we don't want... Okay, JT. All right, Kelly. Now, he had a little bit of a hint, so... We might uh, help okay. out here as well. Just a, a subtle hint, maybe, if we need it. All right, Rob, here's the deal. You're down a point, so just get this one, and we're at a tie ball game. If you can tell me in what year Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves were both born in. They were both born in the same year? They were um, both born in the same year. One was born in April. The other, Kane, was born in November. I'm going to go with uh, 1988. Boom! 
full. We got it. We got we it. Good no one help. going. No help. Okay. One, one after two questions. We continue with JT. JT, I want you to focus. This one will include some mathematics. Take oh. another drink if you need it. Oh, crap. Are you ready to focus, JT? Here we go. Right, here you go. Add Patrick Kane's sweater number to Jonathan Taves' sweater number. So Kane's number and Taves' numbers added together. Um, not yet. That's not the end of it. But I'll let you do that in your head if that helps. And we'll repeat this. Kane's number and Taves' number added together. Then you're going to subtract Seabrook's sweater number and divide that total by Duncan Keith's sweater number. We'll let you write it down. Patrick Kane's number added to Jonathan Taves' number. Once you have that total, subtract Brent Seabrook's sweater number and then divide the total by Duncan Keith's sweater number. What number do you get? We got any in the audience? You cannot scream it out, but anybody no raise their hand that thinks they know this? Okay. Hang on a second. The Seabrook one, you want me to deduct his number from the... Uh... I want you to take Kane and Taves and add them together. Got it. Then I want you to subtract Brent Seabrook's number from that total. What number is Seabrook? So whatever the number you got for Kane and Taves together, subtract Seabrook's number and divide that total by Duncan Keith's sweater number. JT thought he was done with school. He's not. God, mathematics. What a... <laughs> JT, I wouldn't be in television if I could do math, so I'm lucky I have the answer written down. Um, Rob, do you know the answer, by the way? Have you tried it in your head? I, I think I got it. He thinks he has it. Okay. We might let you, uh, maybe. So wait, uh, let me get this clear. The, the last one with, uh, with uh, Duncan Keith is... Uh, That's uh, what you divided. So you're taking Kane and Taves, you're okay. adding together. Then you're subtracting... Seabrook's sweater number from that total. Okay, I got it. Now, once you get that number, then I want to take that final number and then divide that by whatever number Duncan Keith wears. I would say 93. Nope. Let me see your math. Really? Hold it up. Okay, so we've got 88 minus 19. No, plus no, 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 19. No, no, no. Excuse eight? me. No, plus 19. Okay, plus 19, plus 19. correct. Minus. Well, no. Number, number, two. number two. It, two. The I answer is incorrect. It's 88 plus 19 minus 7 for Seabrook divided by 2 gives you an answer of? 50. 50 is correct. Okay. So that point goes to Rob, not for answering it, but because JT didn't come up with the correct answer. Right. So the score is. Did you have all the numbers right? Uh, you know, I couldn't. Not very good at math. Okay. Me either. Me either. What was a great, a valiant ever, effort, honestly. I know about this. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, one. That's one. You that's enjoy one that one. <laughs> so it is two to one. Rob is in front, correct? Yes, Rob. Here we go. This, this is match point for you. Okay. Eddie Olchek's final NHL game came with what team? The correct answer would face you off with Stephanie in the Blackhawks Bracket Championship. Uh, I'm going to go with the Blackhawks. No. That is correct. You're moving on. Well done. You are correct. 99-2000, Edzo's last season, he played 33, 33 games. games. He started with the Hawks, and then he came back and finished with yeah. the Blackhawks. JT, thank you so much for coming back out. Let's hear it for JT. A salute. He'll get some prizes on the way out. Rob is moving on. All right, are we ready to have a little more fun? We have two moving on in the Blackhawks bracket. We are on to the Bulls bracket. Are you ready to meet Frank and Chris? Frank and Chris are back. Oh, and a cheers. there we go. Good sportsmanship to start Very things nice. off. Very I would expect nice. nothing less out of these two. Uh, first up, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Laugh. Can we hear <laughs> it? <laughs> Chris is, is back. 
That was not it. I am I am positive we're going to hear it before. Got to crack more jokes. <laughs> and don't forget, guys, get up to those microphones when you're giving your answer so we can hear it on TV. All right? So Everybody guys, ready? Chris traveled all the way from Joliet. Hoping Joliet. for a slam dunk against Frank, but you were saying you prepared for Mike. Is that right? I, I was bamboozled. <laughs> I had I, I bulletin board material for Mike. I, I put it out there. No, nope. he, he was no, so no scared Mike. he backed out. I, I had videotape on Mike, and now I got Frank. I'm unprepared. I'm a little bit unprepared. That's all right. You can trash talk once this thing gets going. Your new contestant, Frank. Frank is subbing in because somebody uh, flaked out. We won't mention his name, even though you already have. So thank you, Frank, first for coming out. Frank has played twice. He hails from Alsip. And his favorite quote is, try not to suck. Joe Madden style. How's it going, guys? Thank you for coming out. Thank you for competing. Are you guys ready for this? Let's do it. Let's ready. do it. I like it. So we've decided uh, that Chris is going to call the uh, coin flip. Are Chris, we ready with that? Chris, call heads or tails for us Here we go. in the air. I mean, tails has been hot. I'm going to have to go with heads. <laughs> He's going with heads. You got it. it is heads. So, Chris, would you like to take the first question or defer it over to Frank the Tank? Uh, after further review, shout out to McBrides on 52 McBrides everywhere. Uh, after further review, I, I, I got to take it. You're going to take the okay. first question. All right. You want to take the honors on the first question, Kelly? I would love to. Chris, right. let's see what you got. So Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen played on the 1992 Olympic Dream Team. Name eight of the ten members of that team. Keep in mind we ask for the 92 Olympic Dream Team. Eight of the ten. Eight of the ten. Okay, we'll go John Stockton, Charles Barkley, Hakeem Olajuwon, Carl Malone, uh, Christian Leitner, Duke, gotta love it. Uh, <laughs> where the hell are we going with that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who's my starters? Magic Johnson. Kind of an easy question, too. Uh, I Patrick believe you have, you have five so far. Six now with Ewing. Two more. You need two more out of this group. I need guards. Oh, uh, wow. Elijah Wan was not correct. But, no. But that still means. Well, you're you, still in it. I mean, you can still do it. You have, you, you have six. You have six. You need two more names. Two more hands out of the ten. Eight out of ten. All right. All right. Who am I missing here? Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen nice is correct. Done. You need one more. We'll give you a couple seconds here. Hmm. <laughs> Blanking out. Blanking out on the spot. Oh, uh, who? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go while we're young. <laughs> what do you mean? I look great regardless. All right. Either way. Uh, okay. Dream team members. Do we give a clue? Anybody want it? No, no hey, clues? Hey, hey. Nobody hey, wants look, clues? No clues. Come on. No, no okay. Frank says no clues. Frank says Frank's no clues. Frank's got his I'm fingers not, hey, crossed. I'm not saying a word. You need one more. You have 10 seconds. Come up with an NBA star that played on that dream team. Chris, oh, you know this. Oh. No, I'm not nervous at all. Uh, I, I blanking out on that last one. I don't Take another sip and give us your best answer. Four, three, two, one. Doesn't Tim happen. Hardaway. Tim Hardaway was not correct. I'll give looking. you the line, Luke. I noticed. You got, him? You got these, Frank? It's uh, Joe Dumars. Clyde no. Drexler. Joe Dumars is not a 92 team. Clyde no. Drexler is. No, Cl Clyde you, Drexler Frank, is Frank, are you going to tell Clyde us Drexler how to run is. this game tonight? No, you're telling Ser me Joe Seriously? Dumars was not a 92 team? Don't make me, don't make me don't take away another point. Don't get this guy upset. Point. Luke, I guarantee Joe Dumars, because okay. Isaiah Cruncher. didn't make it. It was Joe Dumars. Chris? No. 
You want to take this? Regar oh. no hey, Frank, by the way, you're getting yeah, the point. Regardless, regardless, you got the point. But here's the deal. Chris, you had Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Magic Johnson, Christian Leitner, Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, and John Stockton. The three names we were looking for aside from those, Larry Bird, Clyde Drexler, or David Robinson. The Larry, the Larry Bird I should have had. <laughs> for sure. For sure. That's not even a should've, question. Should have had. <laughs> should have, could have, would have. All right. Moving hey, on. You Frank, all right, your you turn. Ready, Frank? You're up one to nothing. Yeah, I'm all right. Let's don't worry about Joe Dumars. You have a Luke, point I'm here. A, I watched the 92 uh, Dream Team thing like six, seven times. So I, I think he should be penalized a couple points for Joe Dumars. <laughs> penalized a point I'm just for saying. Because <laughs> Chuck Daly was the coach. That's how I know. Okay. okay. Chuck Daly was the coach. Okay. Are, are we ready? Here we go, Frank. Frank, your question. The Bulls played their first ever game in October of which year? 1966. Boom, a 2 nothing lead for Frank the Tank. Chris, did you know that one? No. No, okay. <laughs> oh, Chris didn't have that one. At least he's honest. So. <laughs> yeah. But so here's the I deal, still Chris. Look great. You still look great, that is true. Yeah. Lo young and great, got a great laugh, smile. Okay. It's game over if you don't get this right. Been there before. Okay. <laughs> Quack Pack never dies. <laughs> Quack pack. All Quack right, pack. here we go. You got it, Kelly? I got it. All right. Name for me, Chris. The top three players in Bulls history in career points in order. In order. Top three players, Bulls history and oh, wow. career points in order. Wow. I should have done more research on the train. Uh, <laughs> that <laughs> might, might have helped, but then again, let's be honest. Yeah. Right. You gotta go Michael Jordan. Okay, well done. Gotta go Scotty Pippen. Okay. Who's third, Chris? Who's third? Mm hmm. I can tell you how many points he had. <laughs> that, 12,623. That would help tremendously. Come on. <laughs> I mean, Chris, <laughs> I'm doing all I can for you. I hear you. And I'm, You've got I Michael Jordan. I do appreciate that. Scotty Pippen. And then this person. Kirk Heinrich. Kirk Heinrich is incorrect. How about Bob Love hanging in the Raptors? Frank is moving on. Hey, do you know who was fourth, by the way? Better not have been you weren't Heinrich. too far away. I mean, you were far away, but you weren't that far away. Oh, Fourth I've... on the list is Lou Aldang. There you go. Lou Aldang. Dropping wow, would have never guessed that. Another Duke alum. Love you, Duke. Chris, you still look wonderful. Thanks for coming out. We got some great prizes for you. Frank is the first one moving on in our both. <laughs> pays for showing up and filling in. Thank Woo. you. Nicely done, gentlemen. <laughs> Frank the Tank has moved on in our Bulls bracket. Up next, Marty and Anthony say hello to our next contestants. <laughs> we will start with Marty, who subbed in at the last minute for us, comes from Wakanda, completed a Bulls beer run, and won $70 on beer money right. presented by Coors Light. By the way, $18 buckets on Coors Light. Go get them while they're hot. His favorite quote, courtesy of... Duke Nukem, I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Nice. I like it. Nice. I like it. Can we get a Marty chant? Can we get a Marty, 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 Marty? All right. Anthony, you, had a, you have an extra syllable. It's a lot harder. Anthony, Anthony, yeah, yeah, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's from Chicago. He's played beer and money once in 2016. His favorite quote, courtesy of Ric Flair. I bet you guys know where I'm going. To be the man, you got to beat the man. All right. Woo! Yeah. All right, gentlemen, any last words for one another? Let's get it all. Okay. All right. Okay. Frank was pretty good, so one of you will move on and face Frank. First question, we're going to go with the coin flip. Do we have who's going to call it? Marty is going to call it. Marty, it's your call on the I'll coin flip. I'll call tails. It's going tails. It is heads. So Anthony, do you want the first question or do you want to defer to Marty? 
I am going to defer. Oh, okay. Wow, our what first was your defer. logic behind deferring? Um, I watch The Price is Right a lot, and they do that all the time. So, <laughs> so yeah. it makes sense. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah, Give me an easy been... one. All right. <laughs> okay. Be gentle. Here we go, Marty. Your first question. Two Bulls players in Bulls history have worn uniform numbers of at least 90. Dennis Rodman and who else? Rodman was 91. Who is the other player to wear a number of 90 or more? Can I defer? <laughs> no, you cannot defer at this point. Ooh. Nice try, though. I feel like, Anthony, you, you, you kind of had this look on your face. Do you feel like you know the answer? I don't want to hear it, but do you feel like you know it? Not at all. Oh, okay. Does know the answer. You do not have to go way back in history for this. No. I'll say that. Go Joakim Noah. No, it is not Joakim Noah. It is Drew Gooden, <laughs> war number 90. Drew Gooden, war number 90. So we have a point for Anthony and a one nothing lead. Deferring. The deferring worked. It's that paid time. off so no. far. We will see. Okie dokie. <laughs> Anthony, you ready? Yes. yes. All right. So this isn't quite as tricky as JT's, but it is going to oh, require boy. some math. Oh. Take Scotty. Yeah, pass out. That was really nice of you. Here's your dry erase board. Take Scotty Pippen's uniform number and divide it by David Nawaba's uniform number and tell us what you get. Two ways this could go wrong. The wrong numbers, the wrong math. Mm -hmm. And I, this is like third grade level math, so we're not asking you to do, do so, a lot. So I'd be in trouble both ways. I don't mean that, you guys will <laughs> understand once we get there. I didn't mean that as a... I watch all the Bulls games, but for some reason, David Nwamba's number is just, it's blanking on me a little bit. Eluding you at the moment. No help, Kelly. Yeah. You know Scottie yeah. Pippen's number, yeah, correct? Yeah, obviously, obviously. Okay, so you just have to come up with one other number and uh, do a little math. I was told there would be, be no math. <laughs> well, you were told wrong. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, What's your best guess? My best guess? <laughs> you want to defer dollar. again? <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm gonna say, uh, boy, I'll say two. Ooh, the answer was two. Is that what he said? No, but you actually were closer than you thought by oh, just wow. throwing that out there. Wow. The final answer was three uh, because wow. Nawaba's number is eleven. Okay. Thirty-three divided by eleven, three. Three. Yeah. I'm bad at third grade math, apparently. That's all right. Hey, it's all tied up. It's 1-1 one, one at this point. And we go back over to Marty. Marty, you ready? There's Joe no Dumas. math involved in this one. That's the good news. <laughs> Here we go, Marty. Which player holds the record for most points against the Bulls in a single game? Who has scored the most points in a single game against the Chicago Bulls? Maybe if you told him how many points. Should we go there? Should we give a little hint? Sure. Why not? I mean, ah. they both, you know, we need to get a Six, win streak going 68 on. 68 points this player scored. 68 points against the Chicago Bulls. So it hasn't happened in the last couple years. Um, I'll go Kobe. Not a bad guess. That is a decent guess. But, but it's you have not to go back further. Yeah. Not Wilt the right Chamberlain, <laughs> 68. Wilt was 68, so it's a 2 1 lead. We've had some really tough yeah. Bulls yeah, questions. What's up with these out tough the questions? Yeah. You guys are all stars. This is not yep. uh, for the faint of heart. The best for the all stars. I majored in journalism, not math people. Come on. <laughs> Journal look, so did we, and here's where we are. Right. <laughs> It led me to beer money. What can you say, Anthony? We feel your pain. Yeah. Hey, if you can tell me who the last Bulls player was to collect 30 or more rebounds in a game, you can win this and move on. Oh, wow, wow. 
The I had right to double check the math there. Two to yeah. one. Yep. Yep. Anthony. Facing Frank the Last Tank. If you can get this player. right, if you get it wrong, it goes back over to Marty because you deferred with the first choice. Uh, I'm thinking Great Bulls rebounders. Uh, I am going to just, I'm just going to say uh, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, that Ooh, was a good a guess good too. But it's wrong, too. Yeah. If we gave you April 22nd of 88, would that help at all? 1988? 1988. Uh, Charles Oakley? Charles Oakley. Yeah, Charles Oakley would have been the right answer. So Sorry. here we go. It only this counts is it. if you say it the first time, though, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 2-2. Right. Two, two. <laughs> Anthony decided to defer. So here we go, Marty. This is for all the marbles. Anthony, this could come back to bite you here yeah, or yeah. help you. Yeah. If he can't get it. Frank the Tank is waiting. You ready, Marty? I'm ready. Name at least four of the Bulls starting five players in the 2017-2018 season opener. The Bulls starters this year give me four of the five. Well, I know that. <laughs> you shouldn't have deferred. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like that he's using the dry erase board. He's writing them down. He's thinking this through. Well, the $500 is floating through his head right now. He's no. thinking, I can still be in this. Four out of the five players that started in the season opener for the Bulls this season. Can you walk us through some of the names that you have going through your head? I'm going to go with Lopez. Robin Lopez is correct. You have one. Portis. Um, <laughs> Marketing. Marketing is on that list. Okay. You got two. Portis um, might be on the list. I'm just not saying. <clears throat> I'll go with. Uh, you need two more names at least. Lopez, marketing. <laughs> Anthony's ready to count you down. Chris wants you to know you look great while Thank you're you. sitting up here. <laughs> look great. Thank you, Chris. Support from the crowd. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Give us two more clock. names. Bobby Felicio. Portis is not correct. Felicio. Give me two names. Felicio's one. Who else you got? Reed. Reed. Allen. No. Okay, so <laughs> those weren't right, but Anthony, just because we want to hear out of you. You, you said you knew. Um, I'm going to say um, Justin Holliday is one. He yes, was he one. Is. And another one is, and I believe, what was the, oh, God. Valentine. <laughs> it wasn't no. Valentine. It was, um, it was, um. But Anthony, All you right. were so yeah. like, I know Anthony this. Anthony didn't know either. It was Lopez, Holiday, Grant, yeah. Markinen, and Paul Zipser. Zipser. That darn Paul Zipser. Not Zipser. easy. That it's name been a you'll long never season. forget. None of us got one right. <laughs> <laughs> Deferring paid okay, off Anthony, for Anthony. Moving on to face Frank yeah. in the next. Those I didn't tough. get any um, correct. Marty, thank you very much for playing. We appreciate it. We got the Cubs music going. It's time to do a little Cubs trivia. Oh, wow. yeah. First round. Cubs will be great in 2018. I feel like we should just let them introduce themselves. Oh, wow. See, this is where it's going to yeah. heat up. This is where the energy in the room goes. The, howl the Fowler's so Howlers the are The Fowler's here. Howlers are in the house. Have you guys renamed yourselves yet? Yes. Noblemen. They are the Noblemen. The Noblemen. Chad, Chad Noble. Noble would be so proud. Well, this is Nacho, who brought his Cubs fist with him. Ignacio Camacho. I did not know that was your first name. Who hails it from is, since I was born. Berwin. I just like Nacho. Um, 
For those that don't know on Twitter, if you follow him, his priorities in life, Cubs, booze, and women. Wow. I'm really glad that you have those priorities in order. Nacho. Okay. And that is I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. So, but your favorite quote. Do you remember what you wrote down for your favorite quote? Can you? I do. Okay. Do it for us. <clears throat> and the Chicago Cubs win the World Series! There it is, Nacho. I can understand that as a Cubs fan. I can understand that. We have some Southside South fans, fans in here, fans too. In here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, wow, the White they Sox had their time. They had their time. They had their time, he says. We just want to point out that fist was not stolen from the cat man. That is your own. <laughs> this is mine. This That's is mine. His. All right. All right I don't have the go. receipt, though. Nacho, you are going up against Ben from Chicago. Huh? Let's hey! hear it for Ben. Hey! Ben's a big winner. He won $130 once, walked away, winning 30 another time, and his hobby is... Collecting airline miles. That's oh, exciting. Wow. Travel Very guru. exciting. Favorite quote? If you have any quote? extras, I'm sure a lot of us would take them. I mean. Do you know what your quote is, what you told us? You play to win the game. There it yeah. is. We like it, Ben. Here we go. Let's get this going. All right. Nacho, you got to call this in the air. Right, Heads go. or tips? Heads. Heads it is. Nacho's okay. up first. Are you, you're deferring. Yeah. Bring it. Okay. Oh. All right, Ben. A defer. I had Woo. no idea. Let's get this off to All right. a Look, good man. start, Ben. Look. Here we go. Ben, are you ready? Yes. First question. Rick Russell, Fergie Jenkins, Ray Burris, Ken Holtzman. Who is the lefty in that group? Can you repeat the players? Rick Russell, Fergie Jenkins, Ray Burris, Ken Holtzman, who is the lefty? For sake of our contestants, if you guys will keep it down in the crowd, that would be awesome. So that well, I know Russia was a righty, kind of a burly righty. He was. He was a big guy. Fergie Jenkins, Jenkins was actually one of the questions you asked me on a previous appearance. Okay. okay. Thinking um, through this. I like it. We'll say Ken Holtzman. One nothing, Ben. Hey. Ken Holtzman is the lefty. Ben, you got this, Nacho. You got this. Hey, sidebar story. Rick Russell bought a coffee from me once at White Hen Pantry when I was working there. But that's another that's a great story. Guy. I didn't that's know awesome. you were yeah. a barista in the day. That's that's true. Yeah. That, was it a large? That's a whole other story. I made great sandwiches too. We'll save that. So, Nacho, this could be a little bit. Im I don't want to say embarrassing, but if you don't know this, I will be dis I will be disappointed. Oh, okay? he knows. I'm this. not going to disappoint you, Kelly. This is the easiest question we've had today. Who easiest one so far. Wrote, "Go Cubs, go." Oh, really? he doesn't know really? it. Really? Nacho. Nacho. He's got the Coors Ooh. Light in his blue fist. Steve Goodman. Oh, he oh. faked us out. Oh, nice. You faked us all out. I thought he didn't well know. Well done. I was like, I know he knows every word. All right. Hey, for those who don't know, it was not Steve Bartman. No. Steve Goodman. Steve Goodman. 1984. Okay, May good, he little, rest in good peace. little matchup going exactly. here. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Ben, are you ready for this? Tied 1-1? Let's, one, one. Let's do it. Besides the Cubs, name the three other Major League Baseball teams that Sammy Sosa played for. Sammy played for the Cubs. He played for three other teams. Who were they? The Texas Rangers. Yes. The Chicago White Sox. Yes. And the Baltimore Orioles. Wow. That is correct. Well done, right. Ben. I feel like that's only Let's fair go, after ben. Steve Goodman. Let's no. go, that's Ben. True. Anyone? I mean, okay. Because Nacho's got his whole crowd over here. <laughs> okay, Nacho, here we go. Which member of the 1987 Cubs is the last Cub to toss consecutive complete game shutouts? 
which member of the 1987 squad, basically, is the last Cub to toss consecutive complete game shutouts? Ooh. This is a tough one. We want to remind Nacho that you only get beer dumped over your head if you are a champion on Beer Money All-Stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Mikey who got beer. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. So just consecutive. Complete wait. game shutouts. Complete game shutouts. This is a tough one. We'll tell you it was against the Padres and the Dodgers. Padres and oh, Dodgers. Yeah, that, that I'm, makes I'm all debating. the difference in the world. It doesn't make any difference. There actually was Cruncher, a hint. Do we, do we give a hint? Do we do give a hint? Give, this was a great hint. I don't. Easy malice. Easy. You're going to want malice. your hints too, honey. So his father's name was Dizzy. Does that help? Dizzy. It's not. I mean. <laughs> it's, mouth that one. <laughs> it's not a current cub. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm not sure if it's right or not. But um, What are you thinking, Nacho? Don't, don't make this your answer. I want to know what it is. You got 10 seconds. I'm thinking Rick Sutcliffe. Who did you think? Rick Sutcliffe. Isn't a bad guess. The Red Baron, huh? What about you? Do you have a guess, Ben? Any guess? Because that's not right. No clue. No clue. Steve, Steve Trout. Trout. Steve Trout. Do you feel like ben you should have known that, Nacho? has defeated the mighty Nacho. Hey! Man. Wow. Oh, I didn't oh, think done. it was going to happen. That was hard. Those were tough questions. Uh, Nacho, are you going to lend the blue fist for Ben when he moves along? Oh, Teammates. I, I can't like do that. But you know what? Well, we would like you to stick around. Well, well, I'll stick around, but you know what? He's a good guy, and we're going to go to a ball game together. Sometime. Let's hear for Nacho! Nacho! Yeah. Ben and Nacho, a great showdown there in the first half of that bracket. We've got another good one coming for you. Rini and Billy ready to fill out the Cubs bracket. Let's hear Let's it. Let's do this. You want to meet Billy first or no, ladies first? No, ladies first. I, I, ladies that's first. That's only correct. That's Rini. correct. Rini, so glad to see Rini back in the house tonight from Chicago. She won beer money in 2017, and her favorite quote, very appropriate, show me the money. Yeah. But this story has to be one of my favorite. Uh, Rini, will you tell me your first ever game at Wrigley Field? 1969, Kenny Holtzman's no-hitter. Um, and that was my final question in Beer Money. That's right. First ever game it. at Wrigley Field. She sees a no-hitter. We, di we did that Beer Money outside Wrigley. We were freezing, we and when I said <laughs> the Kenny Holtzman question, your eyes lit up as if she knew it, and she certainly did know it. All right, Billy, are you ready? Billy's from Naperville. He not only won on Beer Money, he won on his birthday. He also won the 50-50 at the Cubs game that day. Was he was day, rolling though. in money. <laughs> Billy, we got 500 bucks on the line. You could be getting some cash again tonight. Uh, his favorite quote is very specific. It is, whatever helps keep your hope alive, just know it doesn't matter. <laughs> the quote is from Jake Arietta to the Pirates and their fans prior to the wild card game in 2015. <laughs> well, well done. Played. Well played. Well played. Oh, this is going to be exciting. These two, uh, Rini, we are going to let you call it in the air. Hear from Manny. I'll do heads. Heads it wow. is. We've All had right. a lot of deferring going on, Rini. Give me the first question. Give wow. her the question. See, I like the confidence. All right. All right. First question, Rini. Cap Anson, Ned Williamson, Abner Dalrymple, Hub Brownstone. Which of these was not a 19th century Cubs player? One of those names is made up. And she's looking at me like, are you kidding? Could you repeat those? Yes. Cap Anson, Ned Williamson, Abner Dalrymple, and Hub Brownstone. One of those is a bogus name. Which is the bogus name? Do you have any thoughts on this before you give me an answer? Did you say Pub Brownstone? Hub, H-U-B. I know it's not Cap Anson. 
Correct, you can eliminate Cap Anson. Um, so is it Ned Williamson that is the fake name, Abner Dalrymple, or Hub Brownstone? Dalrymple Brownstone. Um, Between the two, huh? I'm gonna go with Brownstone. Would it have changed your mind if we'd have said it was pub, brownstone? I like pubs. Pubs, yeah. <laughs> but you seeked it out. You did, Greeny. She's you right. You got it right. Pub Brownstone is the bogus right, Cubs good name. Guess, good guess. Way to go. Oh, man, that was a tough wow, one. Wow, so one for Greeny. All right. Here we go, Billy. Which reliever who pitched for the Cubs in 2006 is first alphabetically by last name among all players in MLB history. Which reliever who pitched for the Cubs in 2006 is David first? David Ardsma? Wow, I, I didn't even have to yeah. give you the hint. That'll Just be. announced his retirement. Yeah, that's right. Way to go. Bring the heat. David Ardsma. Woo! We got some heavyweights in the Here house. We Here we go. All this right. This is awesome. It's heating up. We have a 1 1 score, and it's back to Reeney. Reeney, when Chicago joined the National League in 1876, what was the team known as? 1876, Chicago joined the National League. What was the team name? The Chicago White Stockings. Wow. This lady knows her stuff. She huh? knows wow. her stuff. Two to one, you are correct again. I mean, these two are dropping knowledge tonight. Yes, this is big so time. great. Camp Cut, you're impressed, right? I mean, you you thought you Cruncher? took a few with Hub Brownstone. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, he says. All right, Billy, you ready? Yep. Okay, Fergie Jenkins won a Cy Young Award with the Cubs, but his highest win total, 25, came with what team? And before you answer, remember, if it's wrong, Reenie is moving on. Okay, so Fergie Jenkins won the Cy Young with the Cubs, but his highest win total, which was 25, came with what team? What are you thinking about? Give us, give us your thought I got, process. I, got, I have two teams. Okay, what are the two teams? Well, how about I give you a year first? Well, that that matters none right oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought I was doing a lot of work. 1974. Two teams. Yep. <laughs> um. Well, you got two teams, so give us one of them. Um, the one you think is right, preferably. I had one in my head first, and then I started thinking too much. Um, you should probably go with that team. You should go with your gut. I hope. Five, four. I'm going to go with three. Texas Rangers. Wow. Boom. Correct. Man, under the wire and bringing it. <laughs> That was cold. Ice in the veins, Billy. Rainy, take a sip. Who, who, yeah. <laughs> Billy, who was the other team you were debating? Oakland. Okay, well, that was wrong, so good job. <laughs> Here we go. Rainy had a little liquid courage. You decided to go first instead of deferring, so it is all up to you whether or not you move on. You ready for your question? Yes. <laughs> Shots coming Rini's her way. getting shots from the crowd one. if she wins. Ready. Here we go. Billy Williams was known as Sweet Swingin' Billy from... Billy Williams was known as Sweet Swingin' Billy from where? I'm going blank. Um, I know this. Go he quit the game twice because of racism. Buck O'Neill... Convinced him not to quit. Sweet swing and Billy Williams from where? <laughs> Talk us through it. What are you thinking? Any names of uh, towns coming into your? Sweet swing and Billy. I, I know I've heard it before. I know it's in the South. That Do is correct. Do you even correct. have a state in mind? Um, 
I, and before you give me an answer, I want to clarify with the cruncher. Do we need the state? Do we need the city? Do we need both? The city. The city. Oh. Have, a Have a heart. I didn't write the questions. I just asked the questions. Okay. If she gets the state, we're going to take state? it. Yeah. Can Billy's I guess like, the what? State first? <laughs> Billy, do you know the answer? I, I think I have a guess. I okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll give Rini a chance. We're going to give her 10 seconds to come up with the state that Billy Williams is from. 10, 9, Alabama. What's the city? Is that the right state? Okay. It is the right state. We said we'd give it to you. You got it. Mobile. It Alabama. is Whistler, Alabama, but we will take Alabama. Oh, we yeah. said we'd do it. They, Billy. The judges said they would take it before we did it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> did thank you. you. Billy, did you know? What? Did you know Whistler? I did. You did know Whistler? I did. That's tough. Thank Billy you, Alabama. Had That's it. Hey, 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 don't hate me. Hate the judges right there. Well, we are moving on to the White Sox portion of our bracket. Our first two contestants, Matt and Kevin, all decked out in your South Side stuff. Love it, gentlemen. Love it. Kevin, uh, you took a shot at beer money twice, nailed it on the second try uh, at Butch McGuire's. And your favorite quote, I feel like this should get you far, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Yeah. Wow. Coach Friday Taylor. Night Lights. An NBC show, I should yep. point out. Uh, well done. I like that quote. Yes. That's a good one. You a Matt Saracen fan? Is that you? QB1? Yeah. That's my QB. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's meet Matt. Matt literally filled in today when George missed his flight. So we had somebody come from North Carolina. Thank Matt you, said, Matt. I've got this. He showed up at Rockies in a Kopech jersey. We knew he was legit. <laughs> he comes from Glenview. His favorite quote is, success is where preparation and opportunity meet. Bobby Unser. I like it. Let's get this going, huh? White Sox trivia. Let's see what the Southsiders know. Well, before we start, Matt, I have a quick question for you. Do you smile? I'm pretty focused right now. Okay, so yeah, all right. Maybe maybe I, I, I wasn't sure if you were maybe. having any fun. So no, I'm definitely having a good time, oh, but maybe you, after this win, I'll crack a smile for you. Okay. Yeah, he's you in a Kopex zone. All Kopech right. Zone. Oh, well, good to know. Here we go. Who's uh, Who's got the... Coin toss is going to be Matt. Matt. Call Matt, it Matt, you're going to call Matt. it heads or tails? Uh, we'll go uh, tails never fails. Yeah. It <laughs> okay. It is heads. It failed this time. So... Kevin, it's your call. You want to start it, or do you want to defer? Uh, I'll start it. Okay. All right, guys. Big shoes to follow after those last two. You know what I'm saying? They were pretty good. I need you to tell me who handed Jerry Reinsdorf the ball from the last out of the World Series at the oh, wow. 2005 parade. This is easy. Uh, Paul Canerco. Yes. That is correct. Yeah. All right, we're off to a good start. Too easy, huh? Too that easy. Was, that was an okay. easy one. Okay, all right. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, Matt, your question. In what year did Carlton Fisk play his final major league game? When did Fisk hang him up? 98? 97. A groan from the crowd. If you keep going down, you'll eventually hit it when you hit 1993. 93 okay. was the right answer. You were far off, though. So this is important now. Now we're in a crucial point here. You get what that means, right? Kevin, if you get this right, I mean, you're moving on. Okay, yeah. pressure's on. Can you tell me who holds the White Sox single season record for stolen bases with 77? Scott Putsednik. See, I thought we'd warmed you up with the we easier one. Up. No, it is um, not Scotty Pods. It isn't Scotty Pesednik. Let's go back further than that to Lance Johnson. Not Lance Johnson either. How about 1983? 83. 83. <laughs> These guys are like, uh, I wasn't born yet. Rudy Law, 1983. <laughs> see? See? Who? Rudy Law. 
All right. All right. So where are we? So we're back to two to Matt. one. Matt, chin two to one. Tight Matt, up. you can't get this wrong. You ready? All right. Stay in that zone, Matt. Stay, Stay in that zone. Stay focused. You get this right. We go to a championship question. It's a spelling question. <laughs> the face says it all. Spell Dan Pasqua's last name. Pasqua. Oh. Big trouble here. <laughs> Big trouble. Played for the Sox from 88 to 94. Played a little first base, little outfield. Can you beat the name again? Dan Pasqua. The last name you need to spell is Pasqua. P-A-S-Q-U-A. -S I, I mean, know. it That's just rolled off the tongue. Perfectly That's the way you correct. do it. Pasqua nice. is correct. Perfectly -S -S correct. I have no idea how I got that right. <laughs> you don't know how it happened? Well, let's no. see a smile for that one, can w we? Where you go? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Were you good at spelling in school? Absolutely not. No, I think no. I've seen doesn't a couple matter. jerseys at the ballpark, and that's where I just clicked it. There it is. School doesn't matter. Let's remember that, kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all tied up at two. You take it with this one. Name the pair of 20-game winners for the 1983 White Sox. The two 20-game winners for the 1983 White Sox. 83. Wasn't even born yet, were you? <laughs> you weren't born not, in '83. I, was, I, was I thought we either. established that in the yeah. last '83 question that you guys weren't born. Yikes! Making us all uh, feel old. Clark would have had this for sure. Uh, <laughs> Lamar Hoyt. That is correct. Who's the other? I have no idea. Wow! It all comes down to this. One other name from the '83 Sox. Is it going to be Kevin or Matt? Jack McDowell. I don't know. I don't know. Crones, you don't have it? Cam cut. Give him a hint. No hint, please. No hint. Trying to move on. Championship. We're, we're sticking with that? What's that? You want a hint or no? Cruncher, please don't do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't much of a hint we can give. One that doesn't give it away. No. No. No hint. Cruncher. <laughs> Richard Dotson, Richard Dotson. Matt is moving on. Good showdown. Wow, well done, nicely guys. Nicely done, guys. All right. Matt, you can smile. <laughs> One more spot to go, and this is the rowdiest group we have. Wow. Jeff and Gabriel brought the heat. Look at this. We got two guys dressed up from Battlestar Galactica Whose or something. Whose mascots what is this? are those? Jeff, those are your mascots. Okay. Gabriel. Ga Gabriel, Gabe wants are you a little claiming? love too. Where, where are your mascots? That guy's cool. Oh, they're yours too. All right. <laughs> Well best, done. The best fans in the world. Jeff's got a lot of uh, fans here. We're going to give you the coin toss, Jeff. Are you ready for this? And then we'll introduce you after that. Sure. Let's get this on. Heads. Tails. Tails. So Gabriel's yeah. call. If he wants to start. I, I receive. You're going to receive. You're going to receive. All okay, right. Okay, here's the deal with Gabriel. Yeah. He not only won $130 when he played this game, but he did it in two minutes. Two. Wow. I mean, like that. So you set a pretty high bar. Tonight you gotta bring it. And his quote never die easy. Walter, Walter Payton. Payton. Jeff that was uh, your quote. We don't want to forget about Jeff either. Jeff uh, was in the Huh? Yeah. Jeff. Can't Jeff forget fans. about Jeff. Man. Jeff wants to hear it. Uh, he was in the White Sox parking lot. He nailed his trivia. He hails from Chicago. His favorite quote is if you're gonna bark all day, little doggy. Are you going to bite? Which one? You going to bite or are you going to bark? He's going to bite. Did I screw up the quote? Yeah, you did. <laughs> are you going to bark all day, little doggy, or are you going to bite? Yes. Thank you. That's a better job of the That's quote? That's a better job. Reservoir dogs. Michael I've been Manson. eliminated from the show. <laughs> That's why we go to school, Luke. That's right. That's right. I'm not <laughs> strong at reading or math. Okay, so Gabriel, first up, you ready? I'm going to go. Okay. Let's do it. Tell me from what team did the White Sox acquire Juan Uribe? Okay, Colorado Rockies. Okay, Colorado Boom. Rockies. Boom. Gabriel is moving, moving on. 
All right, okay, you ready? Jeff, here we go. Jeff's, Jeff's up. People, here we go. Jeff's up. Good luck. Jeff, which former White Sox player is now the manager of their single A Winston Salem team? Former White Sox player now manages their single A team in Winston Salem. What do you think? A clue? Do I do a clue? It's time to give a clue. We need to give a clue. Uh, you want me to say? You want me to say infield or outfield? Is that fair? Because we're a week out from. Mm. Survey says, man, this crowd says no dice. You got to give us the name, Jeff. You're you're Who an all star it? for Single a reason, a. Jeff. Show us what you got. No, Gabriel, not yet. The crowd yet. just gave I, us I the thumbs it. down you, on I clues. Get, I get that you, you know, know it. I do. You do? I do. I do. All right. Ten seconds, Jeff. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Super two. Joe McEwing. Good answer, but it is Omar Vizquel. All you, right, you here we go. You didn't even let Gabriel no. answer it. I Gabriel's mean, he was got that his own, kid in class. He's like. got his own questions. I could tell. Look at Gabriel. He's just ready to jump. Okay, Gabriel, do you like spelling? Huh? Spelling? Oh, yeah, wait. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, wait a what minute. Spelling. I need you to spell if you want to take this one away here. Bill Vec. His last name really is all we need. I would V E C K. V E C K. C K. Means that Jeff is going to get a point. All right, still in it. Yeah. Two E's. Two E's. Two E's. Oh. It looks Jeff, like did you me. know that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you each knew each other's answers. Bill Vec, a big part of <laughs> Chicago baseball. All right, Jeff. You're okay. still in it. You're still breathing. You're still alive. Ooh. Are you going to bark? Or are you going to bite? <laughs> I just can't blow this. I can't baba booey this one. All so right. let's go. <laughs> Which two White Sox? hit at least 20 home runs every year from 2000 to 2004. Two White Sox players hit 20 home runs every year from 2000 to 2004. It's not Canerco and it's not Thomas. From 2000 and 2004? Yes. 2000 to 2004, 20 home runs at least in every year from 2000 to 2004, Gosh. but it's not the big hurt and it's not Pauly. Do you know this? I do. Okay. <laughs> Gabriel knows it. Gabriel knows. He's ready to roll. You get it wrong, it's all over for Jeff. Okay, let's see here. Who are you thinking, Jeff? Give us some names that are going through your head. Some Mike Cameron action, maybe, uh, let's see, Yvonne Calderon. He might have been passed by then. Maybe uh, George Bell, maybe. Uh, hmm. We got a he gone from the crowd. Wow. Is Hawk here? Oh, they have their phones. Oh. Just don't share. Don't share. Two names. We want two names. 2000 and 2004, at least 20 home runs. Through 2004. 2000, 2000 and 2004. 20, 20 or more homers in each of those seasons. Two players. 10 seconds in all my years. Um, gosh, I'm going to go with uh, Mike Cameron and uh, Ray Durham. Those are incorrect. Gabriel, do you know the answer? You I are do. moving on. Who I is do. It? Who is it? Okay. Gabriel? Oh, Gabriel's the mic, got the Gabriel. mic off the stand. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's going to be Carlos Lee and Maglio Damn it. A friend of mine, she's a donor's Unless Actually, I misunderstood the second one, I don't think that was right. Carlos Mags is Lee not the is. answer. No, Maglio Donez. Maglio Donez and Carlos Lee. And I'm telling you that first it's one. It's not Mags. Is it right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're moving on but anyway. But it doesn't Jose matter. <laughs> Gabriel, we just like giving you a hard You're time. Jeff, on. thanks for playing. 
Gabriel is Let's moving on. Let's hear it for Jeff one more time, huh? One more, Jeff. Jeff's crew, let's hear it. All right, so we are down to our final eight, but we have something special. We now have a wild card bracket that will also compete not for the big championship, but for other special prizes. Some of our favorite characters from Beer Money. They are now Beer Money All-Stars. Are you ready to meet Jose and Mickey? So the deal is with the wild card, we just loved these contestants. Like, and you will too, because they're fantastic. Jose, he became a beer money sensation with his answer sack machine when we asked him for record sacks in a season. And he guessed Erlacher, but then called Richard Dent, Dent the sack machine. I remember it. It was I mean, it was a good, Bears training good camp. In Jose's defense, it was real hot. It was real hot. <laughs> Jose, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the rest of you may remember his uh, partner here, Mickey. My mom and two, two dads, dads was an answer from Mickey. It's forever famous. He's from Chicago. The quote from his mom is uh, good. She said, maybe you're just not cut out for baseball or football, Mickey. <laughs> but you may be cut out for Beer Money All-Stars. Welcome what back to Mickey. What I'm hoping. All right, Jose, can you give us a heads or tails when Manny flips it here? Uh, heads. All righty. Heads it, it is. is. So, right. Jose, would you like to start or Mickey to start? <laughs> I'm going to pass it to Mickey. Oh, go ahead. All right. He's going to Mickey. defer. I, I was going to defer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my coaches told me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, you're going first. Mickey, here it is. By the way, I feel like there was more Coors Light in that bucket before you got up there. Hey, I'm, I'm just, I'm, listen, I'm just a big fan of real crisp, delicious yeah. Blue Mountain beer. You Blue know? Mountain beer. That's what, I'm a, that's what I'm a big fan of. Which means cool. So, yeah. so all right, Mickey. We need that kind of enthusiasm for this first Hey, let's hear answer. it. I'm all, I love sports. Let's do Little it. Little liquid courage. Mickey, show me your best touchdown celebration. Each of you will do this. The winner will be determined by audience applause. Okay, so Each you guys... Each contestant will give us a touchdown celebration. Yeah. We'll determine the winner of this point. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and say I love that question. <laughs> can, I, can I get a... Can I, can I call somebody... Can I get somebody else to do this with me? Or no, can it be like a touchdown? What did you All do? Right, call practice? somebody up. All right, Mickey, go ahead. I bring mean, somebody up. Bring somebody up. Let's go. Let's I get this going. Uh, John, John Wicks. I'm going to need a John Wicks up here. All right, Wicks, high knees, up here, quickly as possible. This is an hour-long show. Let's go. No, Let's no, go, no, Wicks. no, no, no. This will be 30 seconds. John, you got it. Come on. Let's go. All right, hop three. yourself John, up here. on John, we're going to go on three. Pull yourself All right. up. Oh, here we hey, go. John. All right, Mickey's touchdown celebration. We want an applause. Oh, boy. This we'll do it afterwards. Hold your applause for after this. He's music? asking for music after the touchdown. Five seconds. Oh, wow. Let's hear it, crowd. This is too much. Oh, no. His partner's left. Oh, Mickey, no. Mickey. Oh, that's better, Mickey. That's more like it. No, keep your clothes on. Keep your clothes on. Keep your clothes on, oh, clothes on Mickey. <laughs> you got more music? He wants more music. There's the spike. Nice. Oh. Okay. Yeah, making your mom okay. and two dads proud. All right. <laughs> All right. That's and the high. That was the Heisman. It. There it yes. is. That's Mickey. Let's hear it, crowd. All right. For Mickey. All right, Jose, hop up here. Jose, come let's on, see let's it. see it. That was good. That was good. I think it's got, only Jose. fair that Jose gets a little music too for his touchdown too? celebration. All right. Boom. Boom. Oh. oh, the robot from Jose. Mickey didn't think of that. Didn't think of that. Okay. What do we have for Jose? All right, we're going to say each name, and then we're going to let the judges decide. Was it Mickey? Was it Jose? 
It sounds like it's Point Jose. I thought these were, I, I'm, I was really excited for some sports questions. I've been studying all day at the gym. Yeah, you still might get some. All right. Studying at the gym? Yeah, at Yoxie's on Clark. I've been studying all day with <laughs> Leah Spagnoli. She's my coach. So. I would expect nothing less, Mickey. The great days okay. out there. All right. Well, Jose, can you, to take a 2 nothing lead, tell us what David Kaplan's favorite Chicago pizza is? His favorite Where does Chicago the cat pizza. man constantly hawking his pizza? I'm going to say uh, Luminati. Lou Malnati's, Jose. Malnati's, Jose. Jose. All right, Mickey, here we go. Is this a physical question? Or is it like a physical answer? Like, do I have to dance? All right, you ready? This is your facing elimination, Mickey. I, I feel good about this, Mickey. I, I think you might, you might be onto something here. He's gone. <laughs> Just make, make sure it's not sports questions. This right. is this a sports question. Then I'm screwed. Okay. What former bear had a rap album that was called the Seventh Floor Crew at the University of Miami? Which former bear from the University of Miami had a rap album, <laughs> the Seventh Floor Crew? He is a fairly recent bear. Are, 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 I got to say that question, that question is excellent. Um, <laughs> I, should I give him a clue? You know, I, I, also the crowd really, really, hey guys, just relax. The, rap, the, the rapper's name was G-Reg. Oh. And it's not... Dick Buckus at all, it's right? Not, it's not, okay. it's Dick, not so I wanna, Dick Buckus. So it's not the answer. I want to. I want to at least eliminate yes. him. Let's we, can, take, we can scratch let's take Dick Buckus off out the of list. It. Okay, so he's eliminated. Seventh Floor Crew rap album, not do you, Dick Buckus. Remember Buckus. when Shaquille O'Neal put out that rap album? I do remember that. Yes. Holy exactly. cow! Yes. I bought it at a garage sale from uh, Jake <laughs> Abramson. Right. Unbelievable! I, I got all you know right. what? I got nothing. That's it. Shaquille O'Neal. I wish he was still a rapper. You don't have an answer? You don't know who G-Rag is? They're pulling Five for seconds. you out well, there. You know what? Here, here, give me, give me, give, repeat the, one more time. What was, the, what was the... Former Bear had a rap album called The Seventh Floor Crew. He played for the University of Miami, and his rap name was G-Rag. All Five, kinds of hints coming from four, the oh, I hate I hate to I hate three. to I hate to throw that over. I'm, uh, this guy's wearing a Bears shirt, and I and I just have a feeling he's gonna know it. It doesn't matter if you don't know it. I, yeah. You don't have it. You're My done parents are gonna be very disappointed in me. I, uh, I'm gonna say no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, Iggy Azalea. No, <laughs> we said Iggy. It's not. Mickey, it's not. you don't have it. We had one called out. Greg Olson. Greg Olson was the answer. Jose is moving on. Jose, well done. On. Mickey. Mickey, thank you for that beautiful dance. Are we ready to move on in the wild card bracket? We got the ladies in the house. Ladies. This is going to be a showdown. <laughs> Malice and Rachel. All in good fun. Hey, hey. All in good fun. Are we ready? Tell us about Malice. So Malice, we basically forced to play Beer Money uh, in Rizzo's not too long ago. And you did pretty darn well. You <laughs> sang for us. You dropped some vocabulary that most watching this show have never heard of. Ooh. And you list your favorite quote as, I'm an emotional gangsta. Oh, that's, that's Miss Cardi B, correct? Yeah. Who is who you sang that no, day? No, 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 no. Kelly, come on, Kelly. Okay, I shouldn't have Kelly. even tried come it. On. We sang Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh, that's right. Queen of pop, queen of Canada. Yes. <laughs> Cardi B is queen of the Bronx. So <laughs> shout out. All right, that is. <laughs> now you see why we brought Malice back. Malice is going up against Rachel, who comes from DeKalb, made a name for herself singing Pearl Jam. In, I believe it was Alive. Was it Alive that you sang outside Wrigley Field? Oh, I, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm still alive, yeah. All right, yeah. Save it now, Anthony Rachel. Anthony Rizzo's favorite all... contestant ever. Yes, yeah, she was amazing. Her I'm favorite shook. quote, 
No one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another. Charles Dickens. Aww. Rachel, very nice. Very nice. Try to be there. So, be a friend to be a friend. Rachel, since you sang the anthem, we're going to have Malice answer or um, flip, the the coin. flip the coin, if that's okay. Sorry. <laughs> Tongue tied. Heads. Uh, heads. <laughs> ah. Tails. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't lose anything yet. So it is <laughs> Rachel's choice. It's Rachel's do you want to go first? Or do you want to defer and let Malice go first? I'll go first. You're going to go first. Yeah, girl. All right. Wild card question. Are you ready? This will involve both of you. It is a showdown. Kind of like what we did with the gentleman a few moments ago. The crowd is going to vote. Each of you will sing a refrain from an artist that has played at Wrigley Field from 2005 to 2017. (sighs) Audience by applause will give us the winner. So you have to give us a refrain from an artist that has played at Wrigley Field. Obviously, Rachel gets first choice at picking one of those artists, and you will get to go first. I mean, any of the artists. If you can think of of any that have played, and if you need some help, I've got a list of artists that I can throw out. Do you have a group or or an artist that you're thinking of that you might sing? She's got this on log. (laughs) She sang the damn anthem. (laughs) She's got this. Mallet, I've heard your pipes. You're pretty good, too. Okay, uh, this is nuts. So my friend, like, went and she's, like, a huge... Leslie Pascola, I'm calling you out. She's a huge Elton John fan. All right, oh. all right. And, so this and is... I know that he was there, and uh, so I'm like, there's all this stuff, like, flowing through my mind right now. Crocodile Rock, or maybe... Um, uh, Don't let the sun go down on me. And though I hurt myself, it's all I saw and else I see. What a line of fragment of your life to wander free. Yeah, yeah, I was losing everything. Well, it's like the sun going down on me. Let's hear it for Rachel. Rachel, nicely Just give done. Give her the damn. Yeah. Give her the damn. Game. We'll do it at the end. We'll do it at we'll the end. At the we'll end. have them give us. They want to hear Malice now. And Malice was on backup there. Backup vocals, <laughs> I believe. Malice, do you have an artist? I don't, and can a song I see the list mind? real quick? Or? Sure. Take a look at uh, Jimmy right. Buffett. Is, any of those? This is beer money karaoke. Holy moly! Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just going to have to go with the one that sticks out to me. It's a great idea. Metallica. All right. Metallica. <laughs> yeah, obviously Metallica. No, okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to go for it. I'm not even going to say what it is, but it's iconic, and everyone okay. here knows it. All right. Step, step forward into the light. No this problem. This is your moment. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Tell me why. Okay. Tell me why. There it is. Tell me why. That's Malice. Nicely done, Malice. Nicely done. I want it that way. I, I, we okay. All right. So you, you do the honors. Let's start it with applause. Was it Malice who just went on there? Or was it Rachel? Both good, but I think judges, Malice gets the first point. Wow. That was a... Wow, that was a showdown. That was an earned point. You gotta go for Backstreet. Okay, so... It's Malice now. Malice, now it's your turn. Okay. Turn, right? Okay. Yes. I remember doing this to you at Rizzo's as well, so I'm gonna try this again. Do you know what street this bar, Joe's, is located on? Yeah, weed. Weed weed it is. Weed is the answer? That is correct. That was my question. (laughs) Yeah! Yes. Okay. Here we go. Back to Rachel. Rachel, you got to get this one right. You could do it. You could stay in this. If you get it wrong, though, Malice is moving on. 
What does NBC stand for? We're NBC Sports Chicago. What does NBC stand for? NBC stands for. Dun, dun, dun. National. Yes. Broadcast. Yes. Broadcast. We need the Chicago. Boy, I wish. Malice is saying no help, and it was NBC National Broadcast <laughs> Company. Company. I should say Broadcasting Company. Times National Broadcasting Company. National Broadcasting Company. That's different. That's different. That's it. That's Grab it? yourself That's another it. beer, Malice Rachel. Malice is moving on. Take that another was, beer. That was All right. In the house. Let's hear it for Rachel. Let's hear it hey, for the ladies. Tremendous national anthem, yeah. too, huh? <laughs> Thanks for being a part of it. Okay, we are down to our final eight contestants. We will narrow it down to our final four. This is where we have a bracket winner for each team. This is the Blackhawks bracket. Again, if you win this showdown, we have Stephanie and Rob. There is a prize of two tickets to this winner, an autographed memorabilia, and an NBC Sports Chicago authentic fan experience. And Not to mention, you're still in the running for the grand prize of $500 and four sweet tickets to a team of your choice. And a killer trophy. Yes, so let's re-meet quickly Stephanie and Rob. Stephanie is our only undefeated contestant in How Bear Money that? history. She is now 7-0. and oh. She comes all the way from Rockford. Let's hear from Stephanie. Thanks for laying on the pressure, Luke. <laughs> no pressure. Are you nervous? Are you a little nervous? Does, are now? you a little nervous? Seven and zero? Oh? No. Like Michael Jordan. A little is nervous, bit. Right? A little bit. Rob's good. All right, Rob. You got some redemption beating JT there a bit. You're standing, uh, sitting, if you will, next to Stephanie. Any any butterflies for you? How you feeling right about now? No, I think we should. Uh, we should be good. We should get rolling, oh, wow. huh? Okay. All right, I like I'm it. ready. I can't wait to see this. Are we flipping a coin again? Okay. Correct? Stephanie, you got to call it the first time, so do you mind if we let Rob call it this time around? Okay, Rob, in the air, call it. I'll go with heads. Tails. It is tails. Okay, so Stephanie, would you like to play or defer? I'm going to play. She's going to play it. All right, first one to three. Here we go. Every question counts. Stephanie. Which Blackhawks player calls West Dundee, Illinois, his hometown? Oh, we have some West Dundee fans. That's my mom. <laughs> oh, it's Stephanie's mom. We have a Stephanie fan in the house. That's awesome. And Ryan Hartman's from West Dundee. That is correct. one nothing, Stephanie. Nice. All right, Mom. Lots to cheer about. <laughs> okay, Rob. Who scored the Stanley Cup winning goal in the – excuse me, in 2013 versus the Bruins. So one more time, who scored the Stanley Cup winning goal in 2013 against the Bruins? Uh, Brent Seabrook. <laughs> Stephanie's shaking her head no. Rob, I feel like you, you just you got excited there and went I with did. something. 2013 game winning goal. Dave Boland. It was Dave Boland. The rat, Dave Bowen. All three right. Three goals. Three goals. Am three I right? Goals, yeah. Okay. So Rob, now go. the pressure's really on because Stephanie can take this and head to the championship round here. This is it. Question to finish it off and win the Blackhawks bracket: How many goals did Stan Makita have in his NHL career, give or take twenty? Just need a range of twenty. How many goals, goals did Stan Makita have? In his NHL career. Um, get us within 20, Stephanie. Don't give us an answer. What are you thinking? Where, where, where's your range so far? I'm thinking around 500. 
500. Okay. Um, she only has to be within 20. How many goals did Stan Makita? These are our finalists. They know their stuff. I'm going to go with 493. 493 was your answer? Yeah. 541 is the correct answer. Rob is still alive. Rob is still alive. Rob, that's like the unforced error. You now got to, you know, take it. Use it. Okay? Yep. Tie this one up if you can tell me. Corey Crawford was the Stanley Cup winning goalie against which two opponents? He's got this. Corey Crawford, Stanley Cup winning goaltender against which two teams? Uh, the Bruins. And how do I not know this? <laughs> the pressure of the lights is getting to me. Oh, boy. <laughs> um. A reminder as Rob continues to think on this one. If you guys start blurting out hints now or answers, this guy's gonna have to escort you out of here. So, I know. Ooh, look at the crunch. I know. Let me Rob, be the bad Rob, guy. Who did they beat with Corey Crawford? What two teams? I know. Uh, You're just blanking. I know. It's not good. You know um, it. You know it. You know it. I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, right, ten seconds, Rob. The uh, Penguins. No. Rob, Stephanie is moving on. It's the Bruins and the Lightning. He forgot the Lightning. All right. Yeah. All right, let's wrap up our Bulls bracket. We have our two finalists in the Bulls bracket ready to move on. Go, Try gentlemen. and face Stephanie in the final four of the overall tournament. First up, we have Mr. Dumars, Frank. <laughs> Joe Dumars. Joe Dumars. Frank, of course, says, try not to suck. He beat Chris. He's moving on. How you feeling? Good? Not too bad. Hashtag Joe Madden Hot Seat. That's all. Okay. Hashtag Joe Madden Hot Seat. All right. Beer money. That reminds me. The hashtag beer money AS. Yes. Keep it. Keep the interaction going, home, beer if money you will. AS. Yes. So, Anthony, I hate to point this out, but you're sitting up here having yet to answer a question right. Um, thank you. Thank that's you. That's okay, yeah. though. It takes luck to win as well, <laughs> so you have that on your side. How you feeling right about now? I feel happy and giddy <laughs> and <laughs> proud to be alive. I, Good, I yeah. like that. Hey, deferring is the way to go sometimes, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. All right, let's get this going. You ready? We're gonna do a coin flip, and let's have Frank. Frank you call let's it. have Frank call this one. Let's go heads. Heads it is. Frank wants Frank the ball receive. and the question. All right, Frank, your first question. Which Bulls player won NBA Rookie of the Month honors in January, February, and March of 2005? 2005. 2005. He was Rookie of the Month in January, February, and March. He was on the All-NBA first team as a rookie. It's either 2005. I'm going to have to go with Ben Gordon. Ben Gordon is nice. correct. Wow. One nothing. Wow. You're su huh? You surprised yourself, huh? Well, he was. I, well, I don't want to say it. Right. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> just let it go. Frank, just let, let it, it go. Soak, soak it in, Frank. Soak it in. Okay. Frank the Tank. Got to Frank the Tank, Ben. Anthony, your turn. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, St. Louis. Which of these was not an NBA city in the Bulls' inaugural 1966-67 season? So which was not an NBA city? Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, or St. Louis? I am going to go with um, the uh, Steel City, uh, Pittsburgh. Nicely done, Anthony. Right, you yeah. now have an yeah. answered one right, yeah. my friend. I like it. I'm on we, the had board. it. we had the St. Yeah. Louis yeah. Hawks, the yeah. Cincy Royals, and the Baltimore Bullets were real teams. All right, Frank, it's 1-1. You ready? Pressure's on. 
Pressure is on. Who was the last Bulls player to wear number 10 before it was retired in honor of Bob Love in 1994? Who was the last Bulls player to wear number 10? That would be from Iowa, B.J. Armstrong. Okay. That is correct. Boom, no hesitation. We didn't no even hesitation. ask for the Iowa part. I sense you well gaining done. confidence right now. Who is Derrick Rose's agent, by the way? He is Derrick Rose's <laughs> agent. Well Wait, done. Point and a half for that or no? Huh? No, no point and a half. half point. Well, you have a 2-1 lead. 2-1 okay. lead. So Anthony, half, he said. <laughs> Anthony, here's the deal. You got to get this one right to keep on going, okay? <laughs> Name both the high school and college at which Derrick Rose played basketball prior to being drafted by the Bulls. Simeon and Memphis. A lot of confidence there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the opposite. But you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. There it is. Simeon and Memphis. Okay, 2-2 two -two game. It's all in your court. You asked for it. Now it's your chance to take you this one it. away, Frank the oh Tank. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's not the easiest question, I'll admit. Thanks, Luke. Frank the Tank, can we hear it? Yeah, you like it? All right, here we go. Frank, here's your question. Stacy King appeared in games for four other NBA teams after leaving the Bulls. All you have to do is name one of them. Stacy King played for the Bulls and give me one other team that Stacy played for. <laughs> he went from Anthony, Oklahoma, you know this, huh? University of Oklahoma. I, knew Oklahoma. I was hoping that was the question, Oklahoma, I knew that. All right, but uh, where did he go after that? All I need is one of the four teams that Stacy King played for. All right. This is for the Bulls championship. An authentic fan experience. All right. Autograph memorabilia and two tickets. Have you narrowed, narrowed down? And a spot in the finals. Final four. <laughs> One of four, you said? One, One of, of four. You, just give me any other team that Stacy King played for. Uh, I'm thinking, can I give you four and hopefully one of them is right, or I have to give you one? You, no. No, I'm only going to take one answer, right. so one team. It was a good question, but since this is for a spot in the finals, we have to lock it down. Come on, Frank. Here, a final answer. In 10 seconds. All right, hang on. Uh, what are you thinking? Five seconds. It's either, I'm thinking Houston or Phoenix. Hang on. I'm going F Phoenix. Phoenix is your final answer? Yes. Ooh. Anthony is moving on. <laughs> Timberwolves, Heat, wow. Celtics, and Mavericks. Yeah. Played for four teams, Frank, the two tank. in the East, it two in the fun, West. It was fun, fun while it lasted. Anthony, the finisher. you're moving on to the final four. Woo! <laughs> we have half of our final four complete. We have a Blackhawks champion, it's Stephanie. We have a Bulls champion, it is Anthony. It's time to crown our Cubs Anthony. champion. Go Cubs! Huh? Ben. Defeated Nacho, which was very unexpected, but you really came through with the knowledge. Great this is for showdown. Nacho. <laughs> this is for Nacho. Ben. And he's honoring his buddy. They're going to go to a game together this year, right? <laughs> we'll be there. They'll be there. <laughs> and Rini, you beat Billy with sweet swinging Rini. Yeah. yeah. Alabama. Uh, you'll never forget Whistler, Alabama, will you? Ever. All right, let's give Ben the coin flip because Rini took the last coin flip. Ben, go ahead, call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. What are you going to do? You're going to defer. defer. Oh, baby. Wow, bold move. All right. Rini, your first question. Which former Cubs home run champion attended the great Prospect High School and Harper College Right here in Illinois. Prospect High School, home run king from the Cubs. He also went to Harper College. All greatness starts at Prospect High School. For those that don't know, Luke went to Prospect. 
High school. Come on, let's hear it. Mid Suburban yeah. League. But anybody? This man, likes, Kamka. Nobody likes prospect. Yeah, you went to Mid Suburban League. He went to Harper. There's a. So he gets. He went to Harper. Kamka went to Harper. Yes. There you go. See a little love. See a lot of. All right. Muncher. Where? Who's the player from Prospect High School that was a home run king for the Cubs? He won a home run championship. Former Cubs home run champion attended Prospect High School it's and Harper College. By home run champion, he led the league in home runs. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. He didn't win a home run derby. It's okay. There's no silly questions. It's good to just league. verify that you're headed down the right road, you know? Right street, avenue. Boulevard. <laughs> Five seconds. Um, Four. Three. Two. Mo Drabowski. No, he was a home run king man. Dave Kingman. Dave Kingman. Oh, you felt like you should know Kingman. that, huh? Rini. Rini said okay. she knew it. Ben's up one nothing. All right, Ben. Ben, four members of the 500 home run club have played for the Cubs. Name them. 500 home run club. Four members. Four members that have played for the Cubs? This is a good question. I like it. Ernie Banks. You got it. Don't forget, any wrong name you give us ends it. So don't blurt it out if you don't think it's right. Ernie Banks is correct. And there's five total. There are four. Four members of the 500 home we're run We're just looking club. for the four members we need, that were Cubs. We need four names for these Cubs players. Ernie Banks is one. Sammy Sosa. That's two. So I feel like at this point I'm, I, I need to find someone that had like a cup of coffee with the Cubs. Um, All right, give us one in five. Just think of that 500 home run club. Who would have played for the Cubs? Four, three, two. Fred McGriff <coughs> probably fell short of 500, but that's what I'll say. The two you were missing, Rafael Palmero oh. and Jimmy Fox. Yeah, I would have never gotten Fox. <laughs> okay, so we're 1-1. One, one. We're back to even. That was a okay. tough question. It was a tough yeah. question. Are you ready, Rainey? Yes, I am. Which Cubs pitcher homered in the 1984 NLCS? 84, NLCS, this pitcher hit a home run. Rick Sutcliffe. <laughs> Nicely done. That is correct, the Red Baron. All right. Two to one, Ben. Pressure's on, get this one right. Tag ball game, otherwise Rini's moving on, okay? All righty. Fergie, as in Fergie Jenkins, is short for what? And with what team did he make his MLB debut? So Fergie is short for Ferguson. Nicely done. And he made his MLB debut with what team? In 1965. In 1965. <laughs> We're lucky we have these written down. Yeah. Well, I know Fergie played for two teams for sure, the Cubs, obviously. And then the 1965? Made his MLB debut with this team. So the other club I believe he played with was the Texas Rangers. I'm just not sure if the Rangers were around in 1965. I like how you're thinking this out. So then this becomes, is this a trick question? Is it really the Cubs? But 
We wouldn't trick him. We, we don't, don't do, do that. that kind All of right, stuff. All right, five five seconds, Ben. Pressure. Chicago on. Cubs. Chicago Cubs. Your answer. Reenie is mm. our Cubs champion. Moving on. Ferguson Jenkins with the Phillies. Oh. The Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies in wow, 1965. Ben, great run. Ben. Ball game over. One left, Luke. That's it. One spot left in the Beer Money All Stars Final Four main bracket. We are down to Matt and Gabriel in the White Sox portion of our tournament. Don't you remember Matt all smiles after he won last time? He is now. Down 0-2, came back. That was a big one. And here you are, duking it out with Gabriel. Gabriel beat Jeff. Uh, he's an encyclopedia of baseball information. This is going to be a great showdown. Remember, our White Sox winner, like our other bracket winners, a prize pack of two tickets, autographed stuff, and an NBC Sports Chicago authentic fan yeah. experience. So a lot on the line here. And, of course, a spot in the final four up for the 500 bucks in our grand prize. You guys ready? Ready to go. I'm okay. ready to go. Okay. Coin Let's flip do it. time. Coin flip. Gabriel, uh, you want to yeah, call Gabriel, it? Gabriel, why don't you yes. call it? Heads. <laughs> it is tails. Matt, what are you going to do? We'll take the ball. He's okay. going to take the ball. You go first, Kelly. Okay, so Matt Harold Baines, first overall pick in the 1977 MLB draft, is from what state? Harold Baines from what state? I'll go Georgia. That's not right. It is <coughs> Maryland. That's a tough question right out of the gate. Question. Did you know that? Did you know Gabriel? Gabriel? I do. Maryland. Okay, Maryland. Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. All right. You're going to get your shot now, Gabriel. Here you go. You're up one nothing. Okay. okay. Gabriel's okay. confident and ready to roll. Sit back, relax, and strap it down. Mark Burley pitched two no-hitters. Who were the catchers for the no-hitters? A.J. Pazizki. We'll catch a one against the against the Texas Rangers, and another one's for, let's see. AJ is correct. I got that one. AJ Pazinski? You're right. AJ's right, who's, who's the other we catcher? We just need the second one. There's uh, two catchers. I would really love to steal this, if he doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> just, Matt. Hmm. I'd love Hello. to steal okay. it. Okay, we know, Gabriel. All right, we got we it. We know, you take your time. Okay. You got AJ Pazinski oh, and your you. second to catch a Mark Burley no-hitter was? Of course, this is for a 2 nothing lead. Okay, uh, okay, okay, it's gonna be, um. Okay. It's gonna be a. Okay, it's gonna be a, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a, uh, oh, come on. All right, this five is, seconds, this is the end. Gabriel. You beat it to me, I'm waiting. Chris? I'm waiting. Okay. Three. Tyler? Two, Tyler, uh, damn, one. Tyler Flores, Tyler Flores. Okay. Oh, Ramon, How about Ramon Castro? Ramon Castro that is the is right correct. answer. Ramon so, Castro. Gabriel, it is a one-one game now. Okay, one-one game. We're all even and in the White Sox showdown. Matt, you're back up. Five members of the 500 Home Run Club have played for the White Sox. Name them. 500 five. Club. All five, buddy, to Five move guys on. that Craig have Thomas, played for the White Sox. Jim Tomey, Ken Griffey Jr. That's three, right? That's three. That's three. Two more. Two more. They didn't necessarily hit 500 for the White Sox, but they sure. played for the White Sox. Sammy Sosa? Yes. You got one more. Five members of the 500 Home Run Club have played at some point in their career for the White Sox. You've got four. Griffey. Cruncher, give me a hint, my man. <laughs> Cruncher remains silent. Griffey Tomei, I said Sosa Thomas, and... Canerico fell short of 500. Die was short of 500. All right, five seconds, Matt. Otherwise, it's two to one, Gabriel. No shot. 500 home run club. You know this. Played for the Sox. 
Crunch or nothing? No. I'll um, no, but okay. I'll um, I'll give a clue once you've answered. <laughs> <laughs> He's so giving. That's why we love working uh, with him. I'll just just um, I just give us any Carlton name. Fisk. Sure. Okay. No, that is not correct. <laughs> He hit one home Andy. run with the White Sox. Just one home run. Andy Do you know Ramirez. Gabriel? Andy off of Max Ramirez. Scherzer. Manny Ramirez. Manny Ramirez. Yep. Manny Ramirez. You knew it. I, I, you, I, knew, I knew you knew it. You knew it, right, Gabriel? Manny Ramirez. Yep. Can't <laughs> <get it. laughs> All okay. Right. Hey, here's the deal. That's tough. Gabriel, you're up two to one. If you okay. get this right, you're moving on, pal. All right. One more. One okay, more. here we go. For the White Sox championship. Which of Hawk Harrelson's broadcast partners played the most games for the White Sox? Tom Pachorek. I didn't even have to give him a multiple choice. Tom Pachorek's your answer? Wimpy. Tom Pachorek played from 1981 to 1985. Uh, Steve Stone played 1973 to 1973, sorry, 77 in 88. Tom Pachorek played a lot more, and Derek Jackson played 1984. In 1999. You are correct. Give him the crown. He gone. 376. Okay. He gone. All right, Gabriel. Well done. All right. We've had a great time. Uh, give yourselves an applause. First of all, this has been a great Woo! crowd. It shows on weed. Big thanks to Coors Light. We are down to our championship of the wild card bracket. This is it. They're not in the big tournament. This is it. This is your title showdown. Malice against Jose. Backstreet Boys versus Touchdown celebration. That's right. The sack machine against Malice. Are we ready? <laughs> we ready. I, I think so. so. Coin flip. Uh, did I, you call it last I, time? I now? called last time. Okay, so Jose is going to call Shout the coin. Shout out to our coin flip boy over here. He's been yeah, Manny, yeah, Manny's getting better and better, isn't he? Heads or tails, Jose? Tails. Heads. Woo. It's tails. Malice, what do you want to do? Go first? You know what? You just gotta go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm trying. <laughs> you wanna do this one? Okay. All right, it is a bold question. Who can hold the Jordan statue posed the longest? Hey, I have a quick question. What is that posed? I, I thought that might. <laughs> Here we go. Like, Kelly's just gonna like, do it. You know, Kelly's like hypothetically, if I didn't know it, like. You want just because I wore it's with the, see, she's the got jersey. The jersey. Oh, the bunny over here is killing it. I think I think it goes something like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, foot up off like the ground the in the air. Right. Don't fall okay. over in the shoes, Kelly. So, Jose, come on up. We're going to have you each try and do the Jordan statue pose. Who can hold it the longest wins the first point. We'll count to three on three. The Jordan statue pose. You do it as long as you can. You ready? This is like the show Survivor. One, <laughs> two, three. I like Jose's got the tongue out. Yes, You're correct. You got it. Hang in there. Jose's hanging in there with the tongue out. Sack machine. Sack machine. <laughs> oh, we got some trash talk. See? No, Malice wants to know how you're feeling, how you Jose. Feeling? Who's going to hang in this the longest? I see some shaky legs. Oh, 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 we're gonna have to blur oh, out Malice. Oh, Malice! Oh, oh Jose drops oh, out. Malice! <laughs> wow. All right. That really was Malice. <laughs> man, oh man. All right, so Malice gets the point. It's one nothing. I pulled a muscle doing that. That's how out of shape I am. We, and have we never trainers. said this would be easy, Malice. We never said it would be easy. You did. It. Okay, right. moving on, Jose. Jose's ready. Go ahead and ask him, Kelly. This one, I guess, is, well, we'll just go with it. Jose, how many inches are in a foot-long hot dog? How many inches in a foot-long hot dog? 12. <laughs> Nicely done, Jose. I was a little bit worried for I you. I got nervous. I got nervous. I was going to say sweating. this was an easy one, and then no. I thought better of it. Because that could catch you up a little bit. So okay. the score, there it is, 1-1. One, one. We're one, back one, to Malice yeah. in the wild card championship. Ooh, I like this for, for Malice. Who sings the lyric, I used to run bass like Juan Pierre? I used to run bass like Juan Pierre. That would be, um, I just make the hits like a factory, Jay-Z. 
Yeah, nice. Yes. Yes. I was like, she knows this. She knows wow. this. And even sang it for us. You, I wish I could give you an extra point, but I can't. Oh. Two to one. Two to one, Malice. Jose, back in your corner, pal. You what ready? number did Derrick Rose wear for the Chicago Bulls? Number one. That, number I mean, one. Easy. It was a layup. Now it's just glad she got the Jay-Z question. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm why like, these hey, are the wild cards. All right, all right, this is fun. We're down to the This is it for the championship of the here. wild card. Oh, my God. Look at that beautiful prize pack. A backpack oh full of goodies, a trophy, a jester's hat. Mom, are you proud of me? And a $100 gift card. Mom, are you proud of me? I have so much student loan debt. I need to prove <laughs> something. <laughs> Malice, give me three of the mascots of the six major Chicago sports teams. Name the mascots for three of them. Oh, I, Clark, the Cub. Okay, so Clark, you got the, the Cub Cubs. is one. Ask you're, name how many? You're, you need two more. I don't, I, don't, I don't know their names. I just know it's a bull. His nope. name, uh, oh, you've oh, got half oh. the name. Oh, my God. I never said I was a hardcore fan, y'all. I'm, I'm here to be the carnival freak. Y'all know this. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're a wild card. <laughs> so, Malice, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Um, one of the contestants tonight is part of the Bulls first name. Well, any of these names? Any of those names may be the first name so of the Bulls. Sort bowl. of. Sort of. Blank. What, what if it was? What if it was Reeny? <laughs> okay. Um, blank the bull. Blank the bull. <laughs> nacho the bull. Nacho. It is not Nacho the bull. It is not Nacho the bull, but that would be funny. Is is it Billy the bull? Oh. That was. Uh, that was so close. That's you know, it. Oh. Count Jose. Benny. Benny Jose. the bull. Jose. Benny the Bull and Staley from the Bears. Boom, you nailed it, and you have gone from the sack man to a wild card champion. How about Redemption that? Redemption on Beer Money All Stars. Malice, you were so close. So that close. That was a great showdown. Uh, Let's <laughs> give him his prize pack. <laughs> Here we go. We are down to the final four. We have our Blackhawks champion and our Bulls champion competing for a spot in the finals of Beer Money All-Stars. Are you ready? Hey, let's don't forget the hashtag Beer Money AS. Beer Money AS. And everyone involved right now has to be pretty impressed with what Stephanie has done to get to this point. Wow. 8-0. Eight 8-0. No. Eight oh. It's been awesome to watch. And my favorite part about Anthony's story is that we reeled you in this morning. How do you feel about being here tonight now in the Final Four? Uh, it's, a, it's a shocker, I, uh, <laughs> I, have to say. Shocker. I have to say. I mean, the first round, he didn't get a question right. It's the American <laughs> dream that he's still alive. Yeah, the American dream. You are... <laughs> All, All right, right, here we go. Are we ready? So the deal with this is, for those wondering, there will be Bulls and Blackhawks related items in all of these questions. In each, each answer will include Blackhawks and Bulls. So you can't just know about one team. You're going to have to know about both for these answers. That's terrible news. Uh, That's terrible, terrible news, news, huh? <laughs> That's a little scary. All right, coin flip time again. Stephanie, Who wants to call? go ahead and call it. You're on a roll tonight. Heads. Heads, Heads it, is. it is. Stephanie, what's it going to be? I'll play. She's going to play it. First one to three, Stephanie. Bulls and Blackhawks showdown. All right. Your question. Every point matters. Who has more career wins as a Chicago head coach? Is it Joel Quenville or Phil Jackson? In Chicago. More career wins in Chicago. Quenville or Jackson? I'm going to go with Q on this one. 
Phil Jackson, 545. So the first point goes to Anthony. Oh my goodness! Wow, that, hey, tough questions. Stephanie, These are the you finals. obviously watch a lot of the Hawks. Do you follow the Bulls pretty closely? Anyone in your family a big Bulls fan? Not as much. Not as much, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but Phil Jackson, yeah. But it was 50 50, so that was good. <laughs> okay, Anthony, here's the deal. If you can name both the last MVP winners, from the Bulls and the Blackhawks, you'll go up to nothing. So the last MVP winners from the Bulls and the Blackhawks. I'm gonna go with Patrick Kane and Derrick Rose. Nicely done, Anthony. Wow. Nicely wow. done. Anthony out of wow. nowhere. The dark horse. <laughs> Stephanie has never lost in beer money. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. But <laughs> Now we're asking Bulls questions. It's we making it more difficult. Spice it up for you here. <laughs> this is not easy. No, no, it's not. Facing elimination. In 94, August of 94, what WWE event was the first ever held at the United Center? <laughs> WWE held an event at the UC in August of 94. It was the first event they had there. What was it called? Anthony, that was a sinister laugh. That, that, that wasn't nice. Smackdown. Wow. That's mm, that was a really good guess. That's close. Summer <laughs> Slam is the correct answer. Summer Slam. Anthony. That was not a Bulls or Blackhawks question. It's a United Center question, but that is correct. Oh, Anthony my is God. Moving Take it up with him, Stephanie. Take it up with, with Chris, okay? <laughs> the Stephanie cruncher. is still... A beer money all star. Yes, Eight and one. Absolutely. Let's all hear it for from Stephanie. Rockford. And by the way, Stephanie, we fully expect you next season to compete again in beer money. Yeah, and take oh, all of I'll our money back. again, okay? <laughs> but you are leaving here a winner. You got all your prizes last time, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's there's that. All right. We'll cheer on the guy that beat you. That's how it works, right? In the next round. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Anthony's whatever. like, what just happened? She's got a little swagger now. Let's do this. Are we ready? We One are. more spot in the championship. We have two stars up here. I don't we know have, that they need introductions. No, they don't. Rainey, Gabriel, Gabriel and Rainey. Let's do this. Two of the best. Let's Cubs versus Sox. North side versus Drop South down side. Classic. Let's go. Gabriel, Let's go. you call the coin flip, okay? Uh, she calls it a coin flip. You want Rainey to take it. That's very, very All nice. Right, very Rainey, chivalrous you call coin of you. Flip. Rainey, I'll you go call it. heads again. <laughs> it's tails. Gabriel, what do you want to do? You want to take the first I, question? I think it's He's going to take it. Answers will be Cubs, White Sox questions. Okay, Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> oh, it's right. Steve Stone made his MLB debut with what team? The TV show or game? Steve Stone made his MLB debut with what team? Okay. Stone Pony. Uh, as a player. We're not talking player. about that. Like yeah, player. player. San Francisco Giants. That one is right. nothing. One nothing, Gabriel. Wow. Yes! All right, Rainey. Which Cub homered off of White Sox, which White Sox pitcher in the 2016 All-Star Game? 2016 All-Star Game, a Cub homered off of a White Sox pitcher. Who were the two players? So, not this past year, but the year before the All-Star Game. Right. Uh, Chris Sale. And who hit the home run? Chris Bryant. It Nicely is 1-1. One, one. Wow. The north side answers Good back. Good stuff, Rainey. Oh, baby. Got, got, really got the grudge this match is, going yeah, on this here. Is, hey, this is north side, south side. Gabriel, you're up. Gabriel, which park was built first? Old Comiskey Park, Old Comiskey, or Wrigley Field? Old Comiskey Park. 19? 1910. I knew you'd want to tell us that too. 1910. 1910 it is. There it is. All Two right. Mercy. All right. Rainy, you're up against it here. A wrong answer puts Gabriel in the championship against Anthony. But Rainy, your question is Name the pitcher and catcher who have formed a starting battery for both the Cubs and the White Sox in the last 10 years. Pitcher, catcher, battery. They've done it for the Cubs and the Sox in the last 10 years. Who are they? Your 
thinking of a player, a pitcher and a catcher that played for both yeah. teams. Is either one standing out to you? I'm going through the catchers on the Cubs first to see who played on the okay. Sox. Okay. You will definitely know this answer. Gabriel, do you know the answer? Don't say it. I do. You're you not do? sure. <laughs> yeah. You think you know it? Okay. All right, Rainey. Catcher, catcher, pitcher, catcher, 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 catcher combo catcher. on both sides of town. In the last decade. Ten seconds. It's a starting pitcher, right? Yes, yeah, starting pitcher. <laughs> Nine, um, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Carrie Wood and I don't know. This ball game is over. Gabriel, who, who is, do you is it? Think it is? Do you know? I do. Jeff Simocha, Shark, and Giovanni Soto. That is right. correct, Gabriel. That's right. Rainey just tipped Rainey, it. Let's go, you White Sox. White Sox. That's why. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Cross boy. down rival. The South Side right is spoken. There. All right. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for, the big showdown. Gabriel and Anthony for the Beer Money All-Stars Championship. Last two standing, wow. It has been such an incredible evening with such great contestants. Here we are, Gabriel and Anthony. Big, big thanks, first of all, to Coors Light, Joe's on Weed. Great job coming the out, audience, great job by everybody guys, that came thank out. Thank you, the contestants. I hope you've had a great time. Here we Camp go. Camp Cup for putting all the questions together. Yes. Sarah and Guff, who are behind the scenes working extremely hard tonight. Anthony is an unbelievable story. He wasn't even in the lineup as an all-star coming into today. Somebody backed out. Anthony slides in. He's only answered, am I right, three correct answers so far. But in the American way, he's found a way somehow to get to the championship. Take another drink of that Coors Light. Oh, my goodness. True beer money fashion. All right, and then Three there's- Three answers and he's yeah. in. <laughs> Gabriel, who I have lost count how many answers he's gotten right and all the knowledge he's continued to drop. And because you've gotten so many right, we're gonna have you name the, or call the coin flip here. Name, name, name heads or tails. How about call heads? It, call it, call it. Heads it is. And here's the deal, guys. In the final round, it is the first two Five points now. A little bit longer. A yeah. little, little bit longer. Bit. We're going to see who knows their stuff. Again, you're playing for four sweet tickets, $500 in cold, hard cash. Here we go. Sit back, relax, and strap it down. You Gabriel, start you said you wanted it? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. A center and NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Blackhawks retired number three and former head coach, and Notre Dame wide receiver turned Chicago starting pitcher. They all have a great salad. I need you to name that player that hair. You're looking for a bull, a Blackhawk, and a baseball player. Mm. Yeah, this was a tough one. Okay, the bull, he was the center and an NBA defensive player of the year. Start, let's start with the baseball player. Okay. Okay. A Chicago. A Starting pitcher, Notre Dame wide receiver, big hair. Okay. Jeff Somocha. That's, That's right. That's one answer. Your hockey player is Blackhawks retired number three, big hair. Or if you prefer, the basketball player. Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA and a center with big hair. Ben Wallace, the center for NBA basketball player. Ben Wallace. No, that is a mm. point for Anthony. The bull was Joakim Noah. The oh. Blackhawk was Keith Magnuson. 
All right, so one that nothing, Anthony. That was a long-winded question. That was a tough question. Sorry about that. But this is the championship of yes. Beer Money All-Stars. Okay, All right, Anthony. you ready, Anthony? Yeah, I'm ready. one nothing lead. Gabriel's in the hole. Which of the four teams, the White Sox, Cubs, Bulls, and Blackhawks, has been around the longest? Which team's been here longest? Sox, Cubs, Bulls, or Blackhawks? Which franchise has been around the longest? I think it's between the two baseball teams, and I'm going to go... I'm going to say the White Sox. Mm. It is the Cubs, and it is now 1-1 oh, wow. in the championship. Wow. So Gabriel's right back in it. Yeah. I, I feel, feel like, like we had knew, something knew similar That's to cool. this. That's cool. You're coming. Cool. I like that. Respect, Sancho. All right, Gabriel, here we go. Who played for what team? Babe Dye. Jackie Robinson, Mike Tyson, and George Washington. You only have to pick one. So they're names that are somewhat famous, okay. but you only have to pick one. Each of those guys played for a team in town. Pick one. Jackie Robinson? Jackie Robinson played for what team? Broken Dodgers, not L.A. Dodgers. That's not the question. The question is, who played for what Chicago team? Hmm. Babe Dye, Jackie Robinson, Dye? Mike Tyson, George Washington. You're thinking of a different Jackie Robinson. Jermaine Dye is the White Sox. Yeah, that's, it's Babe Dye. Oh, the Dave name is Dye. Babe Dye. Hmm. There are four names that you think you know, but you might not know. I'll give you one more shot at it. I'm going to take a gamble. Jackie Robinson played for the Bulls? No, the Cubs? Played for the <laughs> Die for, played for the Blackhawks. Jackie Robinson played for the Bulls. <laughs> Judges? He got it right. He worked through it. He got it right. That's the hardest one, too. Well done. Well done. Another tricky question. All right, so two Why to one. I had both of those? They are tricky. All right. Anthony, are you ready? You're now trailing two to one. How you feeling? Okay. A little, I mean. After Gabe, that one, you're not sure. <laughs> Gabe is, I mean, he's a, he's a genius, man. It's, a, yeah. it's intimidating. <laughs> he's intimidating. He is intimidating. All right. Which is closest in distance to the Willis Tower, also known as Sears Tower? Is it Wrigley, is it the United Center, or Guaranteed Rate Field? Which one's closest to the Sears Tower? I'm going to say the United Center. Yes. Nicely done, correct. Anthony. Two, two. Nicely done. Back over to Gabriel. This is hmm. exciting so far. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go, Gabriel. I want to make sure I have all these right. Luau Deng, Marty Turco, Tony Campana, and Jake Peavy, who most recently played a game for a Chicago team. Luau Deng played for the Bulls. That is correct. That's right. That's right. All right. That's correct. Wow. What do we got? Three to two ball game. Three to two. Gabriel, Gabriel leading. Back over to Anthony. In the championship round, who was the last Chicago player, baseball, NBA, NHL, to win an All Star Game MVP? Of those Chicago players, which was our last MVP in an All Star Game? Who was it? Last MVP in an All Star Game. That is a tough cookie, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> the year is 2011. Ooh. MVP in an All-Star game. All-Star game MVP, 2011. 2011. Who was it? All-Star game MVP. 2011. 2011. Sorry, I remember that. Sorry, sorry. Man. Ah! Okay, it w wasn't Derrick Rose in 2011. It wasn't, um, I don't think it was, a, I'm, I'm thinking, it w was it a White Sox player? Maybe? All right, 10 seconds, Anthony. Uh, uh, Nine, 
eight, uh, seven, uh, six, five, four, three. I'm going to say Chris Sale. Chris Sale's incorrect. The answer is Patrick Sharp. Ah. Sharpie in 2011. Yeah, Sharpie. Gabriel expanding his lead right. a little bit and now one away from the mighty crown beer money all-star champion five hundred dollars and four sweet tickets on the line okay gabriel you might want to use the whiteboard for this it's gonna require a little math we want to know the sum of the number so that's add it all up what the number is of MLB games, NHL games, and NBA games for a team in an average season. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Just regular season. How many major league games, how many NHL, NHL games, games, and how many NBA games are there in a regular season for one team? Five Chicago teams? Oh, yes. I just won. Okay. Combined. We no, you're, you're talking about any team in the NBA. They would play this many games in a season. Okay. How many games are there in an NHL season, and how many games are there in a major league season? Oh, cool. I got it. <laughs> oh, he doesn't need my cool. help. I don't need to clarify. Cool, Luke. He's got it. It Zip was it, an honor Meyer. playing, I just want to say. But. Alice wants to go to the game if you get those four sweet tickets with this answer. <laughs> She's got dibs. Nacho wants in, too. All right, what's your final? 226. Say, wait, say it one more time, a little slower. 226. Okay, what were, what, what, how many NBA games did you have? How many NHL Eight, games? 82. Yep. 82 plus 82. 162 plus. I, I add up to. Uh, okay, here's the deal, Gabriel. You had it right, but you didn't do the math right. It was 82, 82, and 162, but that comes out to 326. Oh. Ah, That's so all right. close, That's though. all right. It's all right. four to three. This is the way Here it should go. be. Back over to Anthony. Oh, boy. Did you not get the memo? Anthony, are you ready to make this a 4-4 game? Or me. if you get it wrong, Gabriel starts dancing into that White Sox <laughs> sweep. Where are the halls of fame for baseball, basketball, and hockey? Where's, <laughs> yeah, where's it's the one of those you know you should know. Where's, exactly. We'll start with baseball. Where's the Baseball Hall of Fame? It's in Cooperstown. Mm -hmm. Where is the Basketball Hall of Fame? In Sea Caucus, I believe? Mm. Or right general area of the country. <laughs> and the Hockey Hall of Fame. And so you need the hockey and basketball. I'm not taking any answers until you're ready to give the final answer. <sighs> not saying what you've told me is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were correct with Cooperstown. I'll give you that yeah, one. I I, I mean, I'm just, for the Hockey Hall of Fame, it's in, it, uh, is it in Canada somewhere? Or? <laughs> this isn't how it works, Anthony. You don't ask the questions. Oh, that was really, that was a nice try, though. Oh, man, is the, ah. No more help here. Oh, well, oh, timely. <laughs> it's an omen. Uh, is, is it in, I'm going to say Toronto for the Hockey Hall of Fame. So your answer is what? Uh, for Coop hockey, for hockey, Toronto. For baseball, Cooperstown. And I'm I'm even disappointed in myself that I don't know the basketball. Uh, okay. Give up five, four, three, two, two, two one. Give us an answer. Any answer? Right, Sakakis, is that what you're sticking with? <laughs> yeah. No, the answer is Springfield. Gabriel is your beer money all-star champion. This ball game is over. What a tournament. Oh, Let's do this. the beer money all-stars. Here we go. Now, just wait. We're going to present this to you. Kelly, don't trip over that microphone. Huh? 
right out there. Salute your fans, Gabriel. Salute. And the trophy of a lifetime. Sir, I bow to you. What a day. What a day, Gabriel. You, yeah, you're the champion. Thank you. This is for my grandfather, who's the pass away, would be a lot of size games. This is for you, Grandpa. Grandpa would be so proud. Wow, Gabriel, Gabriel, congratulations. I'm autistic. Autistic kid doctor. Believe yourself if you're autistic. Believe yourself no matter what. Also against the world, overcome your odds. That's a great Us message. Against the great world. message, Gabriel. Gabriel, you got 500 bucks in cash. Sweet tickets to a White Sox game, the trophy, the crown, and bragging rights for life. Congratulations. Way to go, Let's hear it for Gabriel, huh? Thank you so much for being here for Beer Money All-Stars. Gabriel, our 2018 champion. Woo! Oh, a kiss of the trophy, and good night. That girl scares the crap out of us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Big trouble here. This lady knows her stuff. She huh? knows wow. her stuff. Wow. I wasn't even born yet, were you? Are you serious? You got it right. Are you serious? His priorities in life, Cubs, booze, and women. And that is I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> Chris, did you know that one? No. No, okay. Oh. That our flag was still there. Oh, and they that wonder why I drink. Losing everything. Tell me why. Jose, how many inches are in a foot-long hot dog? I'm here to be the carnival freak. Y'all know this. This is exciting so far. 